<laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> per usual, I had a 10 second ago goof about some stupid shit. Miserable up until that point, but of course. I had a narrative intro planned, but that's out the window. <laughs> Welcome back. We've had a long hiatus while I worked on my studies, so thanks for dealing with the break. We are entering the conclusion of the Chronicles of Peril. And it might just be peril. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a damn who can't calculate an encounter. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with a party wipe at this point. If it happens, it happens. Yeah, as long as Elvin survives, I don't care what happens. <laughs> yeah, like a partial party yeah. wipe. Everybody but my character. Right. Six months have passed since the last time we left off. <clears throat> You have done small missions, you've gathered your forces, you've all gained new understanding, new experiences, new power. There's been a few skirmishes that the Thrykreen army and some of the Lord's Alliance. At this point, there's been many meetings that mostly you've only had like ambassadors between. Like sometimes it's Mr. E. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the Lord's Alliance, any available forces have assembled. The heroes of the Sword Coast are also fighting, but it has been decided that the three of you are the only ones able to finish this, mostly due to the fact that a Jatha, the sword, is a key. I'm the hero of the story. Cool. Just want to make that clear. And a castle able to penetrate. <laughs> The other the, castle. The, the, yeah, okay. Just to be clear about what the castle is, and it's not capable of. <laughs> not for lack of trying. Okay. Uh, the Drac King's armies, though, have ravaged a number of towns. Uh, mostly, though, a lot of, thanks to a lot of the Lord's Alliance and the Thrykreen, a lot of it has been kept up to the north. Mm -hmm. There's been some spillover, but for the most part, they were able to hem in a lot of the attacks. Cool. But you have all learned of the coming attack due to some magnificent <coughs> scrying attempts due by Mr. E, planted some by your friend Bell, and Amelia, and yourself. You have improved, in fact, the tower's capability to jump. You've managed to rework it to scry. Cool. You know where the battle's taking place, symbolically, at the Well of Dragons. <clears throat> Sweet. But we're going to open up. You are in, essentially, the common room. The war room, at this point. Who all's assembled? <clears throat> Amelia, all of you, remind me your cleric's name again. Uh, Thraxis. Thraxis. Thraxis, the cleric who's been doing studies on souls and banishment. Uh, you also have, uh, I mean, there's, it's pretty much your typical crew. I mean, Uski's there, Sir Beryl Bradford, uh, Adam is there, Clack. Um, there's a couple other forces, I mean, just warriors that you have, and <clears throat> Bell has just shown up as well. Great. Yeah. Any last minute preparations we have to perform, or are we pretty much ready to go? You guys will be pretty much ready to go, but Amelia, Bell's like, all right, mates, got the final information that you need. Told it to this lovely lady here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Amelia's like, okay. It's a large map, basically showing the well where the armies are assembled, and you see where, uh, and you've scried on what is clearly like an underground moving castle. It's almost gears and blades that go around it, and it's huge. I mean, it is massive. Cool. She points, and it's clearly at the well. She's like, 
Hyselius will plan to raise his castle right on the well. Apparently this is a point of great spiritual energy due to Tiamat, the realm is thin. I don't know if this is a final bit to bring back the gods or if this is purely to spit in the eye of the Sword Coast. Perhaps both. Or to draw us out. Potentially. From what we can tell, though, there's a way to beat it. The armies will meet his forces. This will give us an opportunity, and I think... She seems a little nervous. I calculated it right. So, all these oscillating blades and everything keep it almost perfect defenses. But there should be an one instance, a single moment where they're open enough to teleport the castle in. What happens if it fails? We're dead. Oh, cool. Good to know. Or maybe not. Maybe we're knocked off in time and space somewhere. I, honestly, I don't know. We've never had that happen yet. That's not Amelia's voice. <clears throat> I don't know why I was talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we we trust your calculations. They haven't led us astray so far. One, well, just one second. Uh, since we got some strong white noise here, it's super hot. Yeah, someone has said something I heard about it, that. I heard it on Sunday for a short time. Did it sound like something mechanical? Like a no, it sounded like interference. Yep. It was like so his volumes are matched uh, and everything. Everybody sounds the same. So and it's just a weird white noise. It's huh? like I don't know if it's one of the maybe it's like a loose wire. You don't wire. think it's that, do you? No. No. Okay. Because when I when I heard it uh, like whatever the week before whatever when we were commenting on it, yeah, it actually kind of went in and out, like it wasn't the same volume the whole oh, time. Oh, so there's no crinkling, more like an air sound, like a mic is way up. Is it me? No. It could be. I can look at gains real quick. Okay. Let's let's get to the yeah, bottom of this. We're gonna we're going just gonna work on while. this real quick, y'all. We're gonna yeah. troubleshoot and we appreciate it. Is it. We don't want to go on too far with. Yeah. This has been is it, you have a hard time hearing us over it, or is it is it too distracting? Okay, all of the gains are pretty much set the same. It says the it levels. seems to be beneath the voices when people speak. Yeah, I, that's exactly what it was. Do you think it could be one of the compressor settings or something? Because it also could be the air conditioner being brought up. In fact, here, I'm going to turn off the air conditioner and see if that stops it now. We're turning we off are, the air conditioner. We are using a, um, a pretty hard compression, which could be raising. For us, it doesn't sound that loud. But, but through the mic, it it's taking that, that AC unit and cranking the volume. We've got, picking it up from the vent. We've got Dallas crawling through <laughs> the vents. Okay, I'm at the A junction. Close the vent behind me. <laughs> It's fantasy, y'all. That was from Alien. Alien. Yeah. Have or you alien, seen alien. alien, Andrew? Because I think so. Because <laughs> there's a great Mother. high school play rendition of they, it that's legitimately incredible. They, they 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 put him in a bike and put a blanket over him and fly off the moon. Right. That's the Alien. <laughs> yeah. I, I turned off the air. The guys. We're gonna give the AC the just a moment to shut off. I'll tell you when it cuts off. It's cutting. Working. It working. fills the silence. If it's filling the silence, it's almost definitely the air conditioner then being brought up in volume, I, I think. It might be our, our hard compression, which I can turn off. If, if we diagnose right now, come on, air conditioner, turn yeah, off. Yeah, we're, we're just diagnosing. Thanks for hanging in, y'all. Yeah, I know thanks, I made a big jump in time, so we're doing a little Return of the Jedi here, but this will be the final. This is going to be a lot of combat. And so we are next. a little bit higher level. Yes, you are. they're all level 14, and also I gave them some tasty... Magic up. Mine's okay. Okay, the, the air just cut off. The Everyone good. be quiet. Are you still hearing the white noise and the silences? What about now? That AC is pretty loud. It is pretty loud. Yeah. And I think the compression might be raising it, so we'll see. Still there, but better. But better. So. Still what if you turn the better. compression off? 
What will that do? Is it, yeah, better? Okay. Two for better. Tolerable now. Tolerable. Tolerable. That's what we aim How's for. How's this? Is this better or worse? Better. Tolerable yeah, is not better. good enough, yeah. my dudes. We aim for fine. <laughs> Mediocre. All right, I just turned off one of the. We were using two different stages of compression. I turned one off. What so about? See what it? that does. What about it? Tell us. Talk to us, goose. Goose. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Even better and no change. Even better and no change. I wonder if the gain's just too high on the mixer. Well, I don't know. I guess the gain is pretty high. But you haven't off, changed anything. I'm turning off both compressors. Both compressors are off. Compress gain is pretty high. We're actually getting a little hot now, so I'm going to turn down the mics a little. Oh, they said way better. Really? Uh, yeah, that said that. that That's awesome. Okay. We so all right. So we know Shazam. Okay, noise way better. That's what I'm getting. Noise. Thank you, guys. Shazam. Yeah, we we aim for at least one noise or two Shazams. Yep. <laughs> noise. I'm gonna go ahead and give them uh, a divine since since we took some time out. You helped us diagnose a problem of ours. I'm gonna do it. The divine powers helped us sort through the problems. I can actually turn the game way down now. Interestingly. The compressor was doing some funky things. We're now clipping quite a bit on here. You guys tell me if it sounds harsh at all when we're talking, because I am seeing that it's not smoothing out the highs. And when some of us talk, it's it's, um, How it's does, peaking. Does it sound better or worse? It's peaking duck. Does it sound okay? <laughs> 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 all right. All right. Thank I, you guys we, for the help. I appreciate that. Thank you for the extra shazams and the Tight. noises. Do double shazams, one noise, and a tolerable. Let's go. We got triple shazams. <laughs> oh, we got triple shazams? Yeah. Shit. Uh, so okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So we're jumping in off in time and space. The other things we've learned. We think we've put all the pieces together. It's a way to deal with it all at one time. Thraxus and I have been working on an idea, and we're sure of it now, because we're able to release the souls from that sword. It's good news. Gods draw their power from souls and belief. They may have made a tactical error. Mm. Are releasing those souls make them weaker? Yeah. It's twofold. First... If you can get into the chamber where they're kept, we've worked on a few things that should you be able to destroy the sarcophagi, you'll release the souls that that given god had, which will weaken them. Also, if you, all we have to do is banish them back to where they came from. And if the sarcophagi are gone, you can do so. There's nothing there anymore. It was a terrible price to pay, but they have nothing to draw on makes sense. Their only connection then would be Caecilius. So if you destroy Caecilius, <clears throat> the connection's cut, they are destroyed forever. No problem. I think all of the sarcophagi are in this castle. Yes. What's going to destroy them? Well, it seems they're still susceptible to your weapons and your spells. They'll all be kept in one place. I'm sure they'll be defended by something. <clears throat> Don't know what. But we know the chamber, and we can point it out. Destroying Caecilius may not be as easy as it looks. I would expect not. We knew that he accepted some dark powers, but it would seem that he took a lichdom pouch. He has a phylactery mm. inside the castle. <clears throat> we could be anywhere, though. We seem to know where it is. Bell's like, ah, I. Loves. Kind of beat it out, slash, did a little mind reading of, uh, well, 
Melindrox, son. Caught him trying to do some pretty wicked stuff, but he talked and talked. They're on vain. They're on vain. He's a shit. He's a, he's a real little shit. Spoiled brat. <laughs> well, at least he was useful. What about destroying the phylactery? Looks like you do anything. Swords and spells. Same thing. Same thing. Sounds easy enough. Thraxis is like... Uh, they're gemstone things. If you destroy them, you can toss this in, and it will release the souls, and it will banish each one back to whatever the realm was that they were in originally. There are seven left. Some have been destroyed already. But there are seven left, all kept in the same chamber. All right. <clears throat> I think we can manage that. So, to summarize. The armies will launch, be engaged in battle, on the field. We will attempt, succeed, to jump in to the oscillating walls of the castle, and we will make the assault. We will need to fight our way through these corridors to this building here. It's linear, at the very least, but we're not sure what kind of opposition is there. Impossible to know. Well, they won't be expecting us <clears throat> in either case. They wouldn't have time to mount a strong defense. They'd probably have powerful guardians there, I would assume. Of course. We also think it might be otherwise. That's why we've drawn in well, Nithbis, <coughs> Ennis, Kothai, Salos. He seems to have a particular enmity for them. They will be on the battlefield, and at the <coughs> very least, at least at the start, Caecilius is unlikely to be in the castle. He couldn't resist? Don't think so. So, if anything, they're a distraction. If we get lucky, they kill him in the field and you destroy the phylactery. Makes it a bit easier. But we can't count on that. He'd be expecting them. He would be expecting them. Would he be expecting us, too? I don't think he'd be expecting an assault on that castle. It's moving beneath the ground. Bell speaks of... Ah, from what I got... Not like you're planning to do it. You're essentially coming in the back door. Like, expects to meet you in the field, expects you'll be there, expects that sword will be there. Well, maybe we can make it look like we're there. Someone's gotta have some illusion magic or something. Well, you're looking at the wrong wizard. I, I realize that, but there has to be others. I can take care of that for you, mates. Besides... I won't be assaulting the, uh, castle. <laughs> so. Understood. But that, I can do for you. That might give us a little bit more of an edge. Mm. The distraction's all we need. <clears throat> Who knows, maybe there'll be no one there. Sir Barrow Bradford steps forward. Well, I, for one, am ready, my lords. <laughs> <laughs> Still looks like the armor is weighing heavy. I know you are, Uncle. We're glad to have you at our side. I found myself a mount again, so... The lance of Sir Beryl Bradford shall pierce once again. I'm sure it will. We'll take, we'll take your help, of course. Although, inside, rumor's like, he's dead. But Romer's also kind of, at this point, has kind of switched over to a little more, like, uh, practical, mm -hmm. tactical side. He's like, we're going to have to sacrifice people for this to work. And he, he fully intends to sacrifice himself, you know. Uh, Killian also plans to sacrifice Romer. <laughs> <laughs> Works out. <laughs> the greatest sacrifice. I hear this voice in my head, oh yeah, I'm going to sacrifice you too. What, what, what? <laughs> I did take the message can trip at level whatever, what is it? Is it 14 that you get the new cantrip? I forget. It's pretty high. I did take message just so I can fuck with you. Nice. 
I mean, yeah, you look around, these are your your crew. I mean, they're all here. Uh, Clack is somewhat in the corner. All four arms folded. Right. All right, well, there's no point delaying it. If, if we're all ready, I think we should get to it then. Well, launch at dawn, so you do have the night. Don't know if you want to write letters, say prayers, drink. Sounds like a good idea. <clears throat> I might even drink with you. I looked to Bell. Bell, like. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say no to a drink. But <laughs> I'll provide the drink. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll heal you should anything go wrong with the drinking. Yeah, my word. Nothing will go wrong. Ah, all right. I think you two were pretty well even, last I remember. Oh, we're even. He smiled, he smiled at him. Yeah, I mean, he, and he meets it, it in a truly jovial way. Um, yeah, you do have Buckley is, I mean, as about this as any, Buckley and all other non-combatants have clearly Gone. gathered oh, their stuff. Okay. They're, but they're, they're about, to, they're they're about to leave. And I mean, they are. They're kind of stopping. Buckley's like, uh, well... My lords, good good luck. Be well. I will. Captain. They all. All, nobody leaves without saying anything, so it is a, somewhat of a procession of... Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Anything you guys want to do tonight? I definitely have something. Okay. If anyone else wants to do something, go for it. Go for it. I think Killian will go back to his room pull down the big, like, mirror that he has and just stare at it for a second. And then I think he's going to shave his hair off. Oh, damn. Just before the final assault, <clears throat> revealing his red wizard tattoos underneath. I think he'll just sit in there with the razors. With each, like, just cut back, you see those tattoos again revealed. A sign of your ambitions. And this is by far... <clears throat> the most ambitious thing many will ever do. And I think they've been modified a little since he last saw them, when he, like, absorbed the essence of the Inquisitor, Mm -hmm. and maybe some other things taking on a life of their own a little bit. You, in fact, see other pieces, and you also inherently know them. Some look almost Cholten, and there's that Cholt Shaman. Some seem another kind of sorcerer. You almost get the moment where you almost feel like you see an Alembic. Mm -hmm. And there's... Still kind of symbolic. Cool. Fuck yeah. I love it. Anarchy. Just preens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he'll probably be talking to her, too. I like, haven't seen these in a while, girl. <clears throat> She's like, ah. Anything else, boys? Uh, I want to take... I'll go away from everyone else mm-hmm. and take a joth out. Got it. And just kind of sit down and just kind of stare into the blade, just trying to get reflection off, like, the candle light. I'll tell you what, we'll do this now. It's going to happen later, but oh, since okay. you ended up, we'll just do it now. <clears throat> You're you, there. You clink, found clink, clink, clink. <laughs> a spot, and you do see your patron. I, very vividly at this point, I mean, you can discern. I think in his mind, the more vivid it becomes, <clears throat> the closer he is to meeting his patron, which is terrifying him, because he knows there's a price that's going to be paid when he goes. Your patron has had just a different dynamic over the past couple months. Uh, anxious, maybe? It, it would be the overall feeling mm-hmm. that you yeah. get. And you see your patron within this kind of window into your sword and starts looking around somewhat nervously. As somebody on the tower is like, There's a rider! You all are in the middle of nowhere. I'll kind of stand up and look out. I assume there's a window yep. I can look out. There sure is. You see, it's definitely a, on a steed, but you see a kind of pale figure with longer dark hair. Too far out to discern anything else. Mm-hmm. Besides that, I would run to the front gate. 
I imagine at this point we have some everything. Stairs. Everything yeah. is on the inside is cleared out, and in fact, most you know you are in the war room, but there were you actually have like some Thrycreen, some other forces actually at the bottom gate, ready to storm out. Gotcha, cool. But yeah, you could go all the way down, or you could look out. Yeah, I'll look out whatever the parapet is where I could I could interact with the rider and assume that I would meet the two of them there. You come down. It's not a fast pace by any means. It's it is kind of just a. A trot. I do think I'll have his hood on of his sweet cloak that Elvin made for him. He'll have he'll have the hood hiding his head yeah. for now. Coming out to you, sticking around. Um, around I'd, I'd kind of I'd be close enough to be observing, but kind of sculpting. Yeah, just looking out from the little window in your dome where your tree is. Yeah. <clears throat> Continues to ride forward. Archers are at the ready. Should I mean they know the deal? They're just they've all knocked arrows. Doesn't break stride. We don't recognize them. As it gets close, you do and you don't. Okay. It's clearly what looks like an undead figure, not decrepit. Right. But as it looks up, you recognize it. It was the former champion of. The Ember Gods. Whoever your patrons was, brother, mm-hmm. who mm-hmm. originally owned a Jaffa. Right. Who he killed, right? He he at least uh, broke a piece of the sword off in and destroyed, but you would think it was dead, so right. you are it would be surprising right, to you. Right. I'll say. Huh. That's probably not a good sign. It's uh, my patron. I don't really talk about much. It's his brother we killed. I'm sure he just wants to come and say hello. Probably nothing. Yeah, probably not a big deal. Good luck. Holler if you need us. Sounds good. And I just start walking out. You walk, and you walk the outside to let it there's a bit of ceremony and show to it mm. as you descend those winding stairs on the outside this time. Dismounts the horse. Stands waiting. I wouldn't say it's in particularly imposing uh, mm. way, but does not seem stressed whatsoever. You want I'll, just kinda, I'll just kind of I'll just make my way down. Stop a few times. Just kind of uh, stretch. <laughs> Take, it, take my penny, wine bottle out. See a penny on the ground? Yeah, like, huh. <laughs> yeah. It's a keeper. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a coin. We do. <laughs> Which I'll probably just, I'm not using it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, just the mariner's yeah, coin. Yeah. I'm just kind of. You flipped it, you used it. Yep. Time for the day. Flipped it, I used it. Yeah, hey. just <laughs> catching it. You have a Jotha out? I have it with me. Yeah, got it. Yeah. I don't want to take the time to summon if he attacks me. <laughs> yeah, last it's not time, in my hand. Last time you met somebody out at the edge of this tower, it did not go well for Romer. It did not. I this think, one should be fine. I think when I saw him going out, I would probably get into a more ready area with uh, killing him. You, you two got some Yeah, we'll, some be, we'll be watching. Kind of leaning against an archway, watching. You push your fingers into the now grass of your courtyard. You put your hand on your wand. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you, as you reach the bottom, Romer, Mm -hmm. he speaks. For a second, it almost sounds like the voice is harsh or dusty, and it has to stop. You! (coughs) What's one? Oh, thank you. Polite, though. Troy. You are the agent of my brother, the would-be destroyer of the gods. Sure. They tasked me with hunting you down and taking that sword. Is it all you here? In a way. I've been living a half-life ever since then. Still the undead servant of the gods. Doesn't sound like a good existence. I could help you with that. 
I hoped you might. My brother, your master, broke his oath. I was angry at the time. Maybe I still am. But honestly, oblivion seems better than this. I can't imagine being alive that long. Must be terribly boring, lonely, painful. I think you have a taste of it already, do you not? I do a bit. Make that a couple thousand years. Does not sound like a good idea. Never eating, never sleeping, just waiting. No drinking. No point. That's hell. Indeed. So. Undoes the armor in the shirt, and you see. I mean, it's just the same type of metal. It's a sliver of it. Oh, in like the still chest. In him. Still in him. I just re- reflexively put my hand on the sword. Then take it. You just want me to pull it out of you? Mm-hmm. That'll do it. Release me. Complete the sword. Finish right, your well, task. He'll take the sword out with, with his right hand, mm-hmm. keep it in his hand. He just kind of looks back. Yeah, we definitely would be like, as you pull the, <laughs> the sword out, mm-hmm. and I just wand at the ready. He just puts his finger up just to, like, hold, and he'll just walk towards him. And his hand is probably shaking a little bit as he's putting it out towards it, like, almost kind of, like, waiting for him to strike at him. It's, he's not breathing. <clears throat> Only the wind is slightly moving his dark hair. As it's exposed. And as you get close to him, weapons are on the horse. Right. Didn't even bring them. Doesn't mean he's not a weapon himself. True. <laughs> he is undead. He's, his touch could be a weapon. All right, well, I'll just tentatively reach out and just... Does it look like I could grip it? And in a way, in kind of it's it's almost lodged in the sternum, so it's almost between the ribs. <clears throat> you feel like you could almost get, you know... Like a little bit of a like purchase a on it? a little bit. All right, I, I kind of wince as I put my <laughs> into the rib cage, and it. Just and I just kind of, I kind of give him a look, like cock my head at him. You like it? It starts just coming out. It's longer than you thought. You didn't exactly know how long the right. top part of a jaw right. it was, but it just feels like it. Feels like it, it should have been out the sticking back. out the back of him at the length of it as you kind of continue to pull, and he's. Not even reacting, but as the more you pull out, it's almost like a cork being undone. Sand just kind of starts pouring out. But it almost looks almost like cosmic dust, too. Like hmm. there's glitter to it in some of it. Well, I start to... If it feels like it's coming, I'm just going to jerk it out. You... The sand just... Starts to fall on his knees. Good luck brother and just the sand kind of keeps going and then finally turns to sand himself the dust blows it away so the horse and everything is the same or is it still standing there horse is the same and it looks like i'm just a standard horse oh okay i'll i'll have the blade and the the shard of it talking to myself i don't really know what the hell to do with this You put it in place like a puzzle piece. As you do, it almost looks like it's fusing, like a welder's torch just... The blade lights up with runes, and it almost looks obsidian black. But now, so now what you see is your patron in clearly full light, vividly, but now it almost looks like it's standing in space. With a closer look. You can see your patron's face looking out. It looks like there might be a tear. But it steps back. Just want you to remember. I helped you. When all this is over. Right? Well, I helped myself a bit too, but... It turns. Tink, 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 tink. (laughs) (laughs) 
With that, Ajatha is reformed. With all benefits. I just slaughter the and horse correct. with it and test it. <laughs> yeah, it makes Sick! Sense. <laughs> I go to the level one spot and hack some rats. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we put those giant spiders? He just kind of, he kind of looks at it. He's like, won't fit in my sheath now. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and just kind of tucks it into his belt. <laughs> Cuts his belt off. <laughs> Probably. Walks back up those stairs. Bit of a feeling of relief, I think. Whether yours or in confirmed. I, I feel like there's also, like, in his mind, there's, there's, he feels like there might actually be some hope that he might be able to get out of his pact. I get that. I mean, for the first time, He's just been, you know, part of the times when he's had, like, dark moods or tempers or, you know, just snapped uncontrollably around people and thing, and you know, in certain situations. It's just like, he just kind of, as he kind of walks up, he just kind of stops, just takes a huge deep breath, looks out at where the sand of where that creature was, looks down at his sword, shrugs, and starts walking back up. Hell yeah. Come back to you guys. I mean, this is what you see. You can engage or not, or if you got anything else to do, you can tell me now. I think we would watch, probably not with a full understanding, but some some insight into what's going on. What, what are you doing? What's Elvin doing? I think I'd be in my grove. Uh, I think nowadays he does a lot of meditating and being super still and shimmying himself into a little spot in the dirt, rooting himself, if you will, like a tree, and just still as a whatever, just, I think he just is very spiritual now. You, like, wow. you quite literally root yourself as you dig in, and you can feel the branches or the roots come up to meet you, and you feel parts of yourself meet them. In all, in all aspects, too. There's a metaphysical connection that you make beyond time and space where you are just floating. I'm so sorry. The <laughs> where you are floating in life. You are floating in the living energies. I'd like to interrupt his silence at one point. I think Killian would show up in there and just be like. <clears throat> You can hear what sounds like roots and vines from somewhere just receding. Like you hear just digging deeper into the earth. I think you just. <laughs> <laughs> I think in my head, Killian's definitely like some kind of standing in the shadows a little bit. Just shadowy face. I think he'll say, I already told you I plan to live forever. And if. The assault tomorrow looks like it's going south. Just stay close by. I'll get us both out. All right. I suppose we'll both live forever then. We have a lighthouse that can jump between realms. If this isn't going to pan out for us, let's turn our back on it. Go somewhere else. As a very last resort. Hey guys, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing now, man. <laughs> tacos tomorrow, is that okay? Oh yeah, sounds good. I love tacos. I think, Elman, you hear your friends say that and you feel that not all of your connection from the living and the green is gone. There are some pangs of it that... I don't know. They speak your... Secret names, your long names. And they call you Shepherd. But that's it. Just those lingering pains of the green and the living. Something far larger, but also your best friend. Both make sense. I think that's it. Yeah. I think Kelly, I'll just proceed back into the shadows. <laughs> I think uh, as we're kind of like making our way through the tower, and I'll I'll be passing you at yeah. one point, and he'll just stop, look at your head, and just keep going. Kill him. Watch. Like doesn't doesn't seem to like 
Doesn't give you a judgmental look. Yeah. Just kind of, eh, okay. And just keeps going. I like it. Hell yeah. You guys enter your rooms. Your I just basically do what I did when I was before, but laying down instead yeah. of sitting up. Let the grass and the sod just... <laughs> grass thing. Grass thing. <laughs> got, to, got you with the grass thing. <laughs> Yeah. You know what? We're going to take a 10 minute break <laughs> before this kicks off. So, stick around as we assault the Well of Dragons. Unless it's empty. Sure. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Please silence your cell phones. <laughs> we'll be back in 10, y'all. What was that mine? I don't know. <laughs>
Welcome back, careful and discerning viewers. Dawn has just broke. We're in the middle of grasslands, in fact. You barely know where you've been jumping around just about every day to keep yourselves ahead of any detection. You're somewhere in the Sword Coast. You can hear as all of you wake up. Well, how do you think you slept? Do you think you slept little? I think good? I slept well. Yeah. I think Elvin always sleeps well. Probably because I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I stayed up late with Bell. Oh, man, that's just, not a good sleep. Yeah, just I was going to say. I'm feeling like garbage. No, that's not how he works. Especially when you get to be my age. That's how he sleeps. Yeah, just the ripe old It's age a fantasy world. I can do what I want. And, <laughs> fair enough. And Bell egged it on. I mean, he absolutely. Mm -hmm. You're like, ah. Man, I, I may not battle. be rested, but I slept. You're like, I got a, <laughs> yeah. I got a battle tomorrow. Bill's like, nah, mate, come out, come out, come out. Yeah, battle, schmattle. <laughs> at least the rest of this, I've we're come, all gonna have a hard day. I've got work in the morning. Yeah, I think Killian slept all right. I think, in fact, they're up and ready. And I'm not there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you, have, you have to come direct. Bell's gone. He's uh, he. You're gonna have to tense for me point. up to Somebody the battlefield. Wake up, Romer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tense this. Tense this disc. Oh, hand drag it on the ground. I'll get off when we're a little closer. <laughs> Amelia non plus. The heroes have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> Two greater healing potions? Uh, two of whatever the... Helius what does it go? Boys? It goes regular, greater, superior? Mm -hmm. Two superior. Ooh. At this point, you're at level 14. 8d4 plus 4? 8d4 plus 8? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Try enough and you'll get it right. Two that's, superiors. That's hard. Okay. Mother superior healing potions. Oh, I don't have my dice out. Yeah, I probably, expect probably don't kill yeah, I don't need them, right? I wouldn't worry about it. I thought we were just going to RP this to the end. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, folks, folks listening right now, let us know how it sounds, because we, we are getting, our peak meter is telling us we're like constantly clipping, but if it sounds okay, then I think the OBS peak meter Might be does off. not give you the best information. If that were like regular mixer at a live show or something, it would sound like garbage right now. Wiley says sounds perfect. You sound That's perfect. Well, gosh. I was talking to Wiley, not you. <laughs> I do have a pretty good temper. To Rad Bully said it sounds like Sean is about to TPK y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking at Rad Bully's comment earlier about the record scratch, and I, I laughed. The idea of breaking the fourth wall that was is... So good. <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, I wish we played a game where you yeah. could use like <laughs> some inspiration and be like, you probably wonder what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me give you guys out oh, these yeah. beads, because, uh... Beads? Beads. <laughs> Levels? Beads. I'm going to go ahead and give this to Roma right off the bat, because that, that was a good little little final closing the door on a Jatha, and I definitely look forward to Romer definitely dying at the end of this. <laughs> I'm going to give time. this to Steven for hoping that I die. <laughs> <laughs> In the best possible way. Sure, sure. I'm going to give this to Elvin just so he feels a little better. <laughs> Wait, that didn't work that way. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Fuck Elvin. <laughs> there's, a, there's a divine right there. Amelia. <clears throat> We're about ready to go. I had another thought, though, in the night. I think it'd work. Still be at late. <laughs> I cast banishment. <laughs> <laughs> we have that devastation or We could set it off inside of there. It'll set off an earthquake. It'd limit the amount of time that we have in there. It would mop up any defenders and leave nothing left to chance. We're still going to have to make the assault. But that is a time limit. Would we still have to destroy the Umber, you think, just to be sure? And then set it off? I or say, set it off in the room with the Umber. I say, reach. I say, use it sooner rather than later. If we can get it inside just enough, we set it off. It's an earthquake. That'll start knocking defenders out. Might even start breaking down the castle on its own. 
Potentially, we get a little bit more help if they can storm it, but worst case, it's destroying the castle. We'll have to put it somewhere and we'll destroy the area that we're in. Yeah. Who's going to do that? Sir Beryl <laughs> steps forward. Nothing has ever matched me on horseback. Let me do this, my lords. I think he can do it. Oh, I know he can do it. <laughs> we should all be so lucky to face death with such bravery. Just... <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> he puts his eyes forward and <laughs> just out his chin. <laughs> I can't say it seriously. <laughs> yeah, he got the chin warble. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my lord. <laughs> <clears throat> and he sets off to ready the actual... There's a couple mounted uh, kind of warriors that you have. And the rest are downstairs. And he's like, I shall ready the troops. There's a little, like... The chinking of his armor going down mm -hmm. sounds a little bit faster. There might he might have fallen halfway down. <laughs> fully, fully yeah, sure. Clink, 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 clink. Uh, I'm all right. <laughs> Just excited, he's running. Nice. I think we're all ready. Adam pulled up his chained hammer. We shall do this, and we shall always be real. That's right, Adam. Hi. Um, can I go get one more piece of it? <laughs> yes. We're streaming. I love you. Good night. Is I allowed to come back? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we had one little hobbit in here making a last-minute tactical. Come here, you want tactical. to say hi real quick? While you're here? Nope. No, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just wants the mozzarella. Just needs that fresh mozzarella. I'm going to, before... Well, he's already kind of walked out. I'm going to go over and talk to Thraxus real quick. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye. Your hair look good. <laughs> <laughs> no. Steal this. Thraxus is, uh, I mean, he's preparing, so he's definitely there. He seems to be studious. I mean, he's listening, he's engaged, but he's... Still scribbling notes and like runes around. He's like, "Yes, I know you worship God of Death or something along those lines, right?" Uh, worship, maybe not, but serve. Understood. God. Understood. Uh, Sir Barrel, he's probably not going to make it. We need to make sure that that orb gets there. So anything you can do to bolster him, to make sure that maybe if things go badly, kind of gives him a second chance to make sure he gets done what he needs to do, so that he, his life is not wasted. It's the least we can do. Shuts the tomes. What kind of weapon? Lance. I'll take care of it. Though I should add a bit of habit. No life is truly wasted. And just walks off. Good. But I'll go back and join them. Uski is strapped. <laughs> Alchemist fire. I mean, there is explosives all over the place. Like, I just... You, you look a little top-heavy there. Like, no. I feel fine. <laughs> just don't fall down. Checks a few, you know, just blades that kind of like... <laughs> like I, I cringe every time one comes out. Just got the, like, <laughs> the flint and steel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, but it is... It looks ugly as hell, but it seems to be fairly effective. Yeah, she's got tubes hooked up to things, and yeah, you see the fire like... <laughs> <laughs> like 
Whiskey is ready. Sure. I know we can count on you. Mm-hmm. Yes, because we got the good treasure. And we're going to get more in there, right? Absolutely. All you can fit your arms around. This has been, like, the best seven months of my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> good. Take kind of a step yeah. to the side. <laughs> Clack steps forward. And I get, like, a very serious face when he steps forward. And I've allowed him to kind of read my mind. Mm-hmm. And I'll just kind of... I'm like... I don't know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like... I'm just like kind of talking in my head to him to see if he... If you if you, would not, if you can hear me, nod your head. Oh, good, good. <laughs> he just says, good, good. He doesn't say anything else. And I just look at him and say... We... Android. Yeah, my world, man. A voice responds back to you. It sounds like your own voice, mm-hmm. but you know that you didn't speak. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, you can be sure of it. And I'll pat pat him on the carapace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on the thorax. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rub his thorax. <laughs> Like that, <laughs> is, that, is that the right spot? Uh, right, right in his in his middle pit, <laughs> yeah. right under his scruff. I think it's his preference. <sighs> yes. <laughs> it's okay. You can hate us. <laughs> I was just thinking, an ant would have six different armpits. Yeah, so. I mean, and it must be hard to get to. So. It's a tickle. <laughs> Amelia is has basically bandoliers of scrolls <laughs> and other things. You ready? I think so. Ready? Okay. And I'll start like tracing runes like all over like my body. And you can just see this kind of like trail of energy around. And I'm gonna be uh resistant to non magical slashing. Gotcha. Good call. All right. Yeah, he's like, I'll do it if that's all right. I've got the calculations pretty precise. I think you should. Man, I'll probably grab her hand, grab her arm or something just to stop her and just be like, thank you for everything. You think they did it last night? Excuse me? Never mind. You're welcome. Where's Bill when I need him? (laughs) Thanks for getting me out of that bottle. I'm going to banish you at the end. I'm going to send you to a plane where there's nothing but horror that you have to experience every single day. Seems fair. You and me, wind walk right now. (laughs) All right. Uh, Yeah, but I think you'll have a pat him on the shoulder after that. You guys staying in this room, or are you heading down to the where the main assault's going to happen? Yeah, right behind the main gate. All right. You can hear, <clears throat> hear the, everything moving up top, mm. some of the pains, and you, you've you now come to know, like, there's just that electric feeling, like, as everything's getting calibrated. I imagine the calm before the storm, everyone's silent, but you just hear, <laughs> we all know it's coming. In front of you, are four horses. One of them has Sir Beryl on it. He's got a lance. I mean, pretty much tied around there's the Devastation Orb. His riders. <clears throat> Adam is forward. Clack. Uski's right next to you, just... <laughs> I just... <laughs> <clears throat> and you feel it. And you hear these, it sounds like just grinding metal that's gliding past it. Just. You can hear the sounds of battle far off. But you also hear dragon screeches, shields and swords battering against it. You can hear explosions, spell effects. And you start to hear voices as the gate clatters open. 
<clears throat> and there before you is a massive, it looks ancient almost, but strange. Almost everything's made out of metal. There's so little stone here. <clears throat> Rolls down, and you see a number of fairly stunned, but orcs, humans, clearly some wizards, all the way back. You know that you have to make a mad dash to get to where you need to go to. Tight. But all of you pour out. You see the horses go. Three of them ride out. Sir Beryl is riding. Starts <laughs> a little starts bit. to tilt. Kind of adjusts. And keeps going. Quick enough that they're not, they're just, everybody's still like too surprise. stunned yeah. to even get in front of them or shoot arrows, and you see them cut off to the left, all riding in a V, just in him, just, ah! <laughs> And this is the scene before you. Should be fine. So there's a few in front of us. <clears throat> My guy's under there. Should be fine. Nope. I'm gonna move nope, Cameron Diaz up a little bit. Come on, Cameron. Is that them? Yeah. Okay. I can't even see them. <laughs> are we rolling an ish? We are indeed rolling initiative. Rolling one ish right now. Oh, good. Cool. I like that. Don't forget, you have one divine inspiration for the audio help earlier. Yep. But where are we at, y'all? How's an eight, my dude? Good, starting out strong. Thank you. Uh, uh, 22. Okay. Killian? 18. What? Mm. I don't even know if I want to go first. Yeah. Would you roll a one? Yeah. <laughs> Six. Yeah, I rolled an 18, and I barely... <laughs> oh, I need to roll for y'all's... Uh, y'all's allies are all just going to act on kind of one to... The fam, them. if you will. They didn't do awesome. And if I won't, you will. How are they going to sacrifice himself for me if they're not going? Good fam is hard to find, I tell you. The boss is terrifying looking. Oh, that is scary. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this. I prepared Rary's Telepathic Bond, which I can ritual cast. Me and up to eight creatures can communicate telepathically. Oh, wow. Gotcha. So it would be the three of us, Sir Beryl, um, really, I guess everyone that we care about. Yeah. Uh, so, Amelia, oh, sorry, Clack, including Romer. Amelia, <laughs> Clack. Uzi, that's exactly it. Yeah. So, cool. yeah, that's you got a couple other warriors yeah, so with we you. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, when I cast it, we have to all be within, um... But after that, is there a range? Uh, the communication is possible over any distance, but can't Holy extend crap. to other planes of, ex of existence. That's bad. So, so Mary's banish. telepathic bond. Yep. It is pretty awesome, and it's a ritual cast. Nice. Not concentration. Not I concentration, assume. no. Yeah. Last an hour, so I would have launched that just before we right. did it. Right, got it. Amelia, even though... She did it right as you're heading out. You see that she teleported. Just <laughs> This is as it stands. Okay, so, enemy, it's basically going to go like this. One, two, LT, boss. If you get to a certain distance and they're out, it'll, shift. it'll basically shift up. So, enemy ones and two are closest to you. Uh -huh. Boss and LT are behind it. This, there's no difference necessarily. Cool. They're all kind of the same composition. Got it. Of uh, you got warriors and some spellcasters. <laughs> oh, coconut monkey! Oh, what's up, Thank Tone you a? for the sub. Coming to help out your boys. Tone A, we needed that. Tone A. Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's see, where are we starting? Romer. Okay. You. You were ready. Yep. Um, trying to decide how I want to do this. Uh, so these guys just look like like regular troops. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they definitely look capable, but 
And they're all... There's no, like, monsters beyond maybe, like, an orc or something like yeah, that. Yeah, pretty I much. Know. I mean, you got you got all humanoids type. But there are a few that look like spellcasters in each group. You can't reach it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, it's close. Are we... Uh, dumb question. Are we, we're in the inside... Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I imagine more like a courtyard almost. Uh, okay. So these are all still halls kind of leading out, but you're going into one large structure up there. So up above you, you see these oscillating like blades and like a sphere just... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold my action until after he goes. Okay. Because I want to see what you do before okay. I decide what I'm going to do. All right. So there's no ceiling? Uh, the ceiling is basically the blades right now. Ceiling is basically the blades, yeah. Because they're moving... There is... It does have bits of... Um, like, there are spaces in between the blades at times. 20 foot, okay. If that affects oh. a... I'll say that there's no ceiling. Or we'll figure out something if you have something yeah, well, that requires... I'll run it by you when it's my turn yep. to see if... What we think We'll work happen. something out. Thanks, something out. That makes sense. Uh, Killian. All right. Well, uh, Killian will... Uh, Anarchy's going to sort of hide behind him a little bit for now. Killian will take a couple steps forward, but he's not he's not leading the charge. And then he will stick his wand down, uh, point it in this direction, I guess sort of aligned like that. And he'll sort of twirl it around, and as he raises it up, fog and electricity and storm clouds will rise up out of the earth around them, and I will cast a level 4 storm sphere. So I need all of those dudes in there to roll a um, strength check. Strength saving throw, rather. And I believe they're trying to beat a... What is my new saving throw? I'm going to do this. Uh, this. So this is the group here kind of outside of the spellcaster. He's the lieutenant, but okay. I'm going to do it as they lay. Uh, I... Doubt that any of them made it. What is the, the 18 DC? 18 is now my save DC. They all failed. Cool. And let me see about the spellcaster. Also failed. Okay. They don't take a whole lot. I'm going to take 8 damage each. Um, and then. Thanks for the follow, Torn Blades. Uh, the ground becomes difficult ground for them. And then after that, I don't think I can quite see the spellcaster. So uh, I'm going to zap this guy here, um, uh, just with the lightning bolt from it. That's a bonus action to cast from within gotcha. it. And I'm concentrating on this spell, which, by the way, my, uh, uh, what is it called? Durable magic gives me a plus two armor class while I'm concentrating on a spell. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that from War Mage? Mm-hmm. So zapping, zapping the farthest away guy. Gotcha. Trying to slow them down to a trickle. Uh, I'm a plus 13, so that 8 gets me a 21. You got it. All right. Looks like 14 points of damage. He gone. But I'm going to keep it on them right here. Yep. I'll say this. You do hear... This is what you see ahead of you. You hear far more forces. Around? Around. Okay. Tight. Okay, so this is well, me. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. it was after you went. Yeah, yep. go ahead. So, uh, just put me thirty towards those guys. I think it's going to get me close to at least. Yep, you got it. Okay, is that thirty right to there? Oh, you might. You, you might, might have got it. Perfect. Here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to hex the first guy. Okay. Because it lasts 24 hours. Yeah, man. Click on your yep. concentrate. You see the eyes flash for a moment. We use little tea lights to remind ourselves we're concentrating. Because it's tea time. Mm-hmm. Uh, tea for concentration. 13. 13? Pretty sure it misses. That actually is a miss, yeah. Yeah, roll it two. Oh, man. And a 23. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, so... Oh, well. Uh, So that is going to be uh, 19 damage. 19 damage. He gone. Okay. 
you just <laughs> dig a job and kick him down. That's it. That's it? Okay. Alright. As these guys go. I'm gonna zoom camera Diaz in a little more. What do you think of camera Diaz? She work hard. Mm -hmm. I pay more than we pay, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to roll. So let's see. This is on Adam. So this is on Adam. One of those hit. Um, they're going to just do static That's damage. Right here. This one's attacking you. On me, huh? Would you uh, roll? I rolled a 17. Okay, I'm going to do my... Um, Arcane deflection, so my armor becomes a uh, uh, twenty-one. A twenty-one. Mm -hmm. That still gets you. Got me. All right. Uh, it is just going to be. Uh, it's going to be just five damage. Okay. Static. And here's my concentration. Do I get anything special in concentration from War Mage? I don't think so. Do I? I thought you said you got plus two on concentration rules. You get plus two AC. I oh, it's plus two AC. Oh, I thought it was okay. I uh, got it. I got exactly a ten. Tight. You are. Actually, you, I think I got eleven. I upped my constant constitution. You're maintaining it as it's a maul that comes in and just kind of sinks into your shoulder, and you're able to pull away. Cool. Let's see. <laughs> There's that. Uh, this one is on clack. Gets clack. Also for five damage. Got it. Uh, and then... Let me see. You know, since they all go together, you could just do one initiative for the enemies. Really. Because they were all right in order of each other. You know, oh, like you're random right. Random which one he has. Yeah, well, you could just work backwards. But... Yeah. yeah, you're right. I'll just keep them. I'll keep them that way. I'll keep them left, right. So, uh, the spellcaster, though... Will you make a constitution saving throw, please, mm -hmm. Killian? Yep. Pass. 21. Good. For a moment, you feel like a radiating light that you're able to just mm -hmm. almost dispel just instantly. Okay. That is them. These. Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Ring of spell turning is if you roll a 20, right? You get to deflect it. I think it's, uh, a, I think 20. it's a twenty. Yeah, yeah I think so. Do you, do you have it added to your sheet? Yeah, I just have to go look for it. I'm just get lazy. Okay, just got three attacks coming at you. Uh, what's your armor class? Nineteen. Nineteen. One of them got you. Okay. So uh, it's a static five damage, but it is in, it is non magical. Uh, right. So I take no damage. Yeah. My heavy armor mastery. Yeah, drops it plus to nothing because you were ha you have. I assume the heavy mastery goes. goes it, it drops it to half, and then the heavy armor mastery, or 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 the heavy armor mastery goes first, and then you have it. I think it would go first. I, I honestly don't know. I'm good with taking no damage from your your magic. That's you went resistance. I've got resistance and my heavy and armor. Your, it's, a, it, it's clearly spelled out in the rules what you do first, and I, I want to say that modifiers get that, applied second. Oh, really? I think so. I think mult, mult, I mean, if you look at my dear Aunt Sally, you're going to do have it first, and then... And yeah. Then, I but I don't, I don't know if the rules... The rules, I know they clearly spell it out, I just don't remember what it says. Okay. I'm good with it. Okay. We did that magic. You're, you're good. These are... Okay. These are not the... These are just the forces. Because you wouldn't do it the other way. You wouldn't add damage and then double it. You're right. You're right. You would It'd double have it to, then it, add Yeah, it. I would agree. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, then I'll take no damage. Sick. It, even though it sinks in, tries to push this sword through, you just, it can't even penetrate your that's, armor. That's pretty bad. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> I totally forgot I had heavy armor mastery when yeah. I did that too. Okay, so, difficult terrain. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Five. Well, that's ten. Ten. And it's fifteen. Fifteen, 15 to get yeah. out, right? Yep. yep. 
just kind of here. It's He's going to back up. <laughs> you see them just pulling out of the storm. The fog just, it's kind of blowing them around. The electricity is just... <laughs> cool. But you see them instead pulling out crossbows. But then they sheathed their weapons and pulled out crossbows. Not it quite would. ready yet. If anyone's curious, the reason I have resistance to threat slashing is from my Warlock Fiend ability, where, like, once for short or long rest, I can pick any damage type and be resistant to it. That's cool. These ones I'm going to do similar to, like, just the swarm, <laughs> as they're the all ready. Sure. So, advantage right now, because they're at full strength. Yep. They don't get any of y'all. Pretty good rolls, man. None of it. Hit nobody. Okay, well, that's that spellcaster. Looks like they're holding. Those ones down there are doing nothing right now. <clears throat> are they moving up? You want me to just move them up? Or are they going to stay? Actually, yeah, just move them. Uh, keep a maybe 10 feet in between them, just for my sake. Yeah, move them up this way? Yeah, just a little bit, though. Actually, that one with the sword, you can pull back. What about this guy? Oh, Grim. No, he can move up, too. Like right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Elvin. Now, if these guys were to fall upside down 100 feet, would they all get <laughs> torn up by some coming. blades? I knew what he asked you that. Let me think about how high these blades are. 100 feet? Yeah. How many yards is that? Fuck yeah, dude. Some confetti? I, I'll tell you what. These feet. ones here will, because it's a sphere, so up, right. going okay. 100 feet up here wouldn't hit it. right? Yep. From all. So, I will give you, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah I'm so going to give you that. 50 foot radius, so if I stick it here, these guys will just float. These guys will get some... Uh, I'll I'll give it to you, dude. Okay. I'll, that's tight. I'm not gonna say no to it. I like it. Right. Chop them up, man. Put them in the fan. That is seventh level slot. Makes you feel better. It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, they can't so make it to the first time you deal with a reverse gravity. Where you're like, oh, oh you're like, sorry. Let me reread. Man, that. I, you happen I, to have I, I thought when you were like, flying. is it outside or something? I was like, I was like, oh man, you want to bring like a lightning storm up in yeah. or something? I'm like, yeah, man. We'll work out something for that. You're like, no, I, man. I figured that's what it was when... I'm throwing them up. Oh, a sphere of blades around them. That was awesome. Because I think uh, um, Raven did it on the dragon. On the dragon. You're like, it, it, no resistance. Yep, nope. nope, yeah, nope. Just, he just floats. It. The dragon just sits there It was there just, for just flying around. Yeah, and you guys just attacked it with range until it just died. <laughs> they can't make deck saves to grab onto something fixed onto the ground, but I don't, don't imagine there is anything. But um, feel well, free. I mean, if there's something sticking on the wall or whatever. Maybe yeah. the guys on the walls. I'll put, if they're if they're actually on the walls, I'll give them a deck save. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise... Yeah. Should I just I'm pretty sure I can hit pretty much I probably can't get that guy. I don't know if I wanna Well, I don't know. If just I stick it here radius. 50 foot radius, 20, yeah. 20, 30, 40, 50. So it probably yeah. you know, it's gonna Everyone be Everyone except that it's gonna snake down. Yeah, so, so maybe the like three in the front line or something. Probably be... him and then everyone else. The wizard not though. I think these two are gonna avoid it. He will he'll avoid it too. Nope. He's in it. He's in it. But everyone else avoids it. Right. Okay. Perfect. So, so tell me who. Who I'll, is I'll that point total? to who's to dudes who are gonna here. Dead. Mm-hmm. You wanna? Have to <laughs> dead over here. Yeah. Just I. I also just blood like okay. congealing at the top of the sphere. I'm not even gonna make a map save. I because I don't even want to bother because I like it too much. Everybody in that center. Elbin steps forward. Well, they're what? not dead, right? They're just floating. Oh, right. Those ones are. Yeah, they're just going to be floating. floating 100 feet I'll just put them up. off to the side. <laughs> For a minute. Uh, with the I exception of that one with the sword. The grim one yep. did not 
didn't Got made it. it made the save. Uh, I'm giving them that. Now they just now just cancel it, and they all take ten d six damage. Right. <laughs> Elvin steps forward, seems to smell the air, and as he twists it, it's almost like twisting a sheet of fabric. That's what you can see, kind of in front of you, and you see him nice. turn it and then release again, and it almost <laughs> snaps back. And these ones in front of you just are like, they're ready in crossbows, and they're just suddenly... <laughs> and up, and yes, the blades just... <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this, some of them miraculously make it past the blades. Mm-hmm. Like some of them, but they're just floating above it. So you let just, yeah, yeah, I mean, they're, they're just it. waiting. <laughs> yeah. These ones back here start floating up, and you can see them. I mean, they're tumbling kind of around in almost a circle, trying desperately to grab onto something. <laughs> There's nothing above them. That's awesome, man. Well. Good, I'm glad this was the easy one. <laughs> good job, dude. That was that was pretty awesome. It was fucking tight. Tell you what, man, I'm going to go ahead and give you an inspiration myself. Thanks. Just because... <laughs> You completely dicked me over. (laughs) Okay. Thanks for going with it. You could have said, no, they're 105 feet away. Nah, man. I I just can't. I'm, in fact, also, for now, going to give your allies... I'm going to treat them the same way. For now. Yeah. Good enough. <clears throat> All of them attacking. Just one more. Easily able to deal with that. And I mean, in front of you, you see Adam just bring the hammer. Just <laughs> one goes. Clack takes out two quickly. Slices one, and then those chaktas that he had just <laughs> slices, just bisects another one. Uh, your other kind of warriors, I mean, they are, they're going almost shield formation and spears. And Amelia's just shooting out, just fireballs, just... Cool. Okay, and they will actually move up, too. What comes to up you? Coming to help. Did not help me. Just there you stop go, me. I'll, I'll go ahead and move. It's, it doesn't matter. Actually, Clack is the one who cock blocked me. Clack blocked you. Clack, as he gets up to you. Actually, we can speak, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're all telepathic, and he's mm-hmm. telepathic anyway. Um, I tell him to just, I ask him to move up diagonal this way one more. I said, I'm going for that wizard. Clear path. He can do whatever he, yeah. however he wants to do it. He stops for a moment, and you only see one antenna, but then he sweeps through as he's clearly raising a blade. Also, you especially, now that you're close, can feel the pure rage of Clack. Of Clack. Tight. <clears throat> Romer, it is your go. Alright, I'm going to draw three att- opportunity attacks. Okay. As I move, I, I 5, 10, 15, 20, so I can get right next to the wizard. Gotcha. What wizard? This that one? one, yeah. Why wouldn't you just go this way? Because I can't go through enemy. You're not going through an enemy. You, you got diagonal a diagonal there. square there. Oh, I thought you couldn't do that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. You're already getting the attacks of opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, yeah. From that, I <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. They all hit and one's a crit. Okay, that's fine. All hits, one's uh, a crit. Alright, I'm actually going to roll dice four yeah. for these. Oh, are they bludgeoning or slashing? Uh, Good they're slashing. Okay. I have that. Yeah, yeah thank you. Well, typical. <laughs> that's Sean. Uh, that's 12 damage total. For the so crit? For all of it. For all their hits, yeah. Well, okay. Oh, well, yeah, I should have said it. So the crit itself 
was four damage. I don't think it took anything. Maybe. I don't think it took anything from any of them. <laughs> if I if, if if they did yeah. six damage or less, I take no damage. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's yeah, uh, I just a guess so. fucking thing that you decided you could do, and I allowed it. And the rules say you can do it, so it's not even like I allowed it. So I just it's nobody to blame. So I basically quit. Yeah, it's so nobody to blame I here. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you you make it fine, Romer. <laughs> Let me give Sean inspiration. As a, as a bonus action, I'm going to move my hex to him. Sure you are. <laughs> and I'll attack the wizard. He's unhexable, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Uh, 21? Mm-hmm. Uh, 21. Wow. Uh, 22 damage on that one. Is that it? Uh, make a con save before he dies. Ah, uh, yeah. What am I trying to beat here? 15. I 15. Absolutely failed. All right, I get a spell slot back. Yeah, you. <laughs> and you get can feel fourteen temporary hit points. Why did I do this? <laughs> Honestly, the sword is you. Everything else is I. Yeah, the sword. I, the sword I did. It's my fault. Uh, we didn't so, draw it, but I guess we should remember where the reverse gravity was. Well, these guys were not. They were not. So, right. So basically, so from them back. Here. Okay. So and I can't move anymore. Can't that was. Go. Oh no way. I'll just end yeah. 15. Yeah, that was the end of my move. Okay, I, I guess I'm done. <laughs> well, at least you took some bit. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, I'm sure we're going to get hammered. <laughs> Killian. Yeah, we're bad. All right, well, I think Killian <laughs> will be calmly striding forward. Uh, um, yeah. She's going to fly here. She'll fly right there. And give me advantage uh, on attack rolls against him. I'll go 5, 10, 15. Fire off a firebolt at him, because I have to. Right. Because I, uh, I did my um, arcane deflection. Uh, I got an 18. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sure if you roll anything above a 1, my dude, you'll yeah. have made it. Got a plus 13 with that wand. So that'll be 10 damage. Big whoop. Uh, and then I got okay. three more left. Well, he's still One, up. Two, what? three. <laughs> and then Killian will be annoyed that he's still up, and I will have a bolt of lightning streak out of this <laughs> to strike him. Uh, that'll be a 15. Still got it. <laughs> he got Yeah. You. He kind of stands back up with the sword, and you just. I don't mean, it's like you just pulled the lightning in your own hand. And I mean, Sweet. he slams against the wall as it hits and just kind of crumbles. Awesome. Wow, hurt my elbow there. <laughs> pulled <dude>. something. <laughs> Got DM elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Got the doctor, what happened? Uh, I was DMing, I was describing a lightning bolt being pulled. You know your old when. You guys do that Tommy John surgery <laughs> for uh, rolling dice. <laughs> I'm putting some heaters out there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what any of those words meant. <laughs> I don't know what that's Tommy something. John surgery is for like pitchers because uh, okay. you frequently so. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what uh, like to put Tommy Lee years. Johns from Men Tommy Black. Lee Johns <laughs> from <laughs> like them in No Country for Old Men and mm -hmm. The Fugitive. You know? Did he play drums for that one band too? <laughs> <laughs> this just devolves so quickly. Yeah. It really does. All right, well, your lightning and fire definitely did it. Mm -hmm. I got one dude. Andrew got like 40. <laughs> I, I killed one guy. We switched to uh, experience base. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You keep what you kill. Yeah. <laughs> You're good, dude. What are, they, what are they doing there? You see reinforcements starting to pull through the walls. It's like gauntlet. They're monster generators back there. Mm -hmm. You could think of it that way exactly, in fact. <laughs> Great. Nice. They're coming out of the walls. Holy smokes! Cranio dead. Thank you. Y'all got three. Wow. Thanks, man. From Cranio. Cranio. The 
and happy birthday yesterday. I tuned into your Sea of Thieves stream for a bit. It was oh, fun. cool. Also, I had no idea that uh, my friend Eric was playing, and I heard his voice. I was like, well, am I like in some weird voice? <laughs> I was like, oh, Eric's playing on this. That's awesome. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Captain. Thank you. Captain, my captain. Wow. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, basically, that was just reinforcement from these two, although there is one, two actually still mm -hmm. here that will, I mean, I'll give Clack something to do. Yeah, Clack will. They will attempt to attack Clack. Clack attack. They do. Does he no take back? No take back. Uh, they... Clack. Clack. They manage, because Clack's just dropping. Some of this is almost even. There's multiple enemies, and they're, they're digging in, honestly, just because it looks like he's recklessly attacking, and you can kind of see them go through as he continues. Well, still two <laughs> up here, floating <laughs> above the blades for this group. Hey, guys, can I get down? <laughs> Just, I mean, absolutely terrified. Uh, this, you can't see what's happening, so you don't know. So just, no. <laughs> Committed suicide after he saw that. Surely he'll just walk into the reverse gravity to see what it's about. Seems safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those guys are still floating. What's the end of that? Barrier over there for for where the gravity's happening. Probably like yeah, here. yeah. Okay, Pro probably hereish. Got it. That's that's all I needed to know. Okay, well, uh, mainly what you see is the reinforcements <clears throat> kind of coming through here. The rest of it, there's still ones ahead of you that are just a hundred feet up. Some of them are trying to swim. It's doing nothing. They're trying to walk, but there's <laughs> nothing to walk on. Poor fellows. Elbin, it's your go, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought about just letting it go, but with the reinforcements, I kind of want to just keep gravity all backwards like. So, yeah, I'll just. Uh, that is concentration, I assume. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually didn't check Boomer. Yeah, it is. 100% is. Then I will just, uh, Druidcraft this guy. Gotcha. What am I, what's the save him? I know it's wisdom, right? But what uh, am I? 17? 21 oh now. Crap. Yeah. 21? He gave me an item. Oh, that's boy. right. Rolled high, but still failed. <laughs> And you told me to make a 4d12, but I think it should be a 3d12. Isn't it? Doesn't it go up at 14? Because primal savagery is... is no, it goes up at what, 11th. What's, what's the base damage It goes up at 5th and 11th. 5th and 11th. Yeah. And 17th. Got it. Yeah. So three. Three. Sorry. 3d12, right? Yeah, that's okay. it. 3d12. <clears throat> 19? Yep. Uh, I mean, there's even just a bit of, like, leftover food that most people keep in there. And, I mean... Vines just whip out through it, out the other side, and start just kind of pulling, and just crumpling him. He gone. Put him on my stack of reinforcements, though. No oh, man. I think that's gonna be it for. Uh, actually, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll stop there. Seeing the reinforcements, these ones know what they're here for. To die horribly. To live long and happy lives. I mean, you see them Baragon style set up the shields. Nice. And they have the spears. And they're planted. Just like in the movies. <laughs> Just like everybody's favorite star in the movie is Baragon. <laughs> <laughs> Remember him, everyone? Played by Chris Pine in the Lord of the Rings movies, actually. <laughs> he's really not. <laughs> I was, I was like, I was Give like, me a second there. I was, I was like, like, maybe he's talking about a web series? Or? <laughs> nope, he is like, not in the movie. I don't know. It came to mind. Uh, 
totally confused, Sean. <laughs> I was like, I'm like this, that's not <clears throat> real. Is it? Could it be? Although Glorfindel is supposedly in Return of the King. There's an elf standing there that they did say that's supposed to be Glorfindel. I that's... thought he was in, uh, oh, Glorfindel. I was thinking of, um, uh, in the Return, or the Fellowship in the beginning when they're fighting Sauron, that that, that was, uh, Snowpoint. Uh, Gilgalad? Gilgalad, yeah. He just does like a ah, yeah in the beginning. Uh, between Adam, Amelia, and uh, Clack, I mean, they've run through the others. Uski is lobbing alchemist fire down these hallways. Just, <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, <coughs> some of them definitely connect with people, some just smash onto the walls and are just. <laughs> <laughs> And that's your allies, Romer. Uh, you are coming up to where you can feel the, the pull a little bit lightly. Where like, I don't think I'll here. move any more forward because yeah. I probably it probably it's probably difficult to even see the border of it. Yeah, but you might see like the occasional rock fly yeah, up yeah. or something. As yeah, it's some little, uh, little in fact, dust flying upside down. You saw where one was standing. Clack, I mean, just shoved the kind of blade in. As it fell back, immediately just the caught. Body goes up. Nice. Plus, we're also all telepathically <clears throat> linked, so even you know. Oh, that's Elvin, a good point. Elvin could be like <laughs> close. Yeah, we're getting close there. Oh, with that, with your allies, then I'll go ahead and say that for a moment you get a flash, and you start seeing out of the eyes of Barrel. Nice. It wasn't supposed to work that way, but it's strong enough. Mm. You see the other riders go down, him barely keeping it together, riding forward. Awesome. I'm just hoping that Thraxus put, like, Death Ward on him. <laughs> Could be. But he did say his weapons, I didn't think he did that. So you, but you do see, you see that there are, the lance is, he's just... Nice. And, even if he did do magic, it is impressive. He has always been a bit bumbling, but on right. a horse he does seem to be Get it. And you can hear cool. his thoughts again. I mean, going back to old battles and thinking. And mm-hmm. I mean, proud. All Thraxus did was put some orthopedic shoes <laughs> yeah. boots. Dude, it helps me. And I'm serious. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to move my hex to the wizard. Whoa, I'm sorry. Oh, right here, right? yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I definitely knew what everybody was. In the <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, Andrew, great minds think alike. Yeah, reverse galleries. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, ours think alike. <laughs> did, did you see him? He just went... Uh, also, I'll tell you what. Gravity's not the same here. I'll counterspell it if it comes up. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to take a shot at him with my first Eldritch Blast. Pretty sure that hit. Uh, what is my blast? Um... The 23. Thanks, Corey. Yes. What's up, Corey? Ugh. So, 7 on that one. Pretty sure he's still alive. That'll hit. That's more. Oh, my God. 7 more. 7 and 7, though? Yeah. Yeah, I got him. 7 and 7. Uh, and then I'll just fire at the, the one on the far right. <laughs> yeah, three of them. That also it, hits. That one. <laughs> yeah. He takes 13. Still up, but yeah, yeah you uh, so you, you see the wizard go, and then fire, and you see, kind of hit, but... And then I'll just kind of, like, move up with, with you guys to there. Just okay. back them up. Is the... Actually, I'll move in between them, and I'll just I'll tell them to hold this line. Let them come to us. They... <clears throat> and just nod. Is the implication that there's pretty much going to be a steady stream and we should probably get a move on? Got it. Yeah. Okay. But I can't move. Cause yeah, I know, I know. That's why I was, why I was that, asking. That is sure 100% that I should give it. Okay. What, what, I mean, after the first initial, you, <clears throat> I mean, you guys kind of came in and wrecked and there's that initial triumph and then you just see, like, yeah. the group starting to move through again. Man, can I like ninety degree gravity so we just fall to the other end and die? I think the spell you're looking for there is gust. 
don't know if it's okay. that powerful. You're okay, over yeah, to me. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, I think Killian would see clearly where they have reached the <clears throat> edge uh, of the gravity, and he would probably come here, just being cautious. Yeah. And now, being able to look down, I guess, seeing those guys approaching, we'll send a fireball down, down range there. So I can just go ahead and get dex saves for those four fellas. Yeah, this will not be one group. This will be the other. None of them made it with your D. Well, actually, what was your DC? 18. Oh, 18. 18. Still didn't make it, so... Good. Uh, Thirty-seven. Damage. Holy crap! That is really good. Thirty. Wait. Yeah. Did you really? Roll? I had. I had, Is that right? Ten, twenty, thirty, and seven. Yeah. Because I I had three sixes and three that, fours. That's probably the highest. And then a rolled. four and a three. Yeah. Okay. Thirty. They are definitely damage. all gone. And I'll tell you what. That hallway. Bits <clears> of <throat> columns start to kind of collapse down just from the concussive. Sweet. Blast from it. So, I wouldn't quite say it's inaccessible. Well, I'll tell you what, then. I have a bonus action left. If I see anything looking like it's rough, he's going to send a lightning bolt to try to fo- follow it up. From I'll the- let you do it. For the If time goes and y'all are still moving, consider that that's Sweet. impassable. There's just enough rubble that people would have to climb over. They can, for sure, cool. but it'll, it'll take, take a while. while. Sweet. Uh, that's me. And, I, yeah, I think Killian will just shout, like, Come on! <clears throat> Time. Okay, well, this is enemy one. As soon as that one gets there, these two are ready. So I'll start with this one. That one missed. They both missed with their readied actions, I'm afraid. All right. Your breath still smells like booze. I'm like, hi, you're guys. Like, you're like, hold the line. They're like, oh, God. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> Get them off. Yeah, they hit. They're actually not going to attack you, though. But their static damage will stack. You start to see them. I mean, they've moved past the shield, started right, right. sticking in. And you can see them start to, start to buckle, but kind of raise themselves back up. Okay. These ones do the same. And I gotta say, the D&D Beyond site plays very well with touch pads, like with the touch screen. Mm-hmm. Like for being a website, it's super responsive. With that big screen. Yeah. It's not great with the smaller ones that I have. Like, I have a small pad, and it's, it's okay. Yeah. But it is responsive. I will do yeah. that. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, over here, the one's waiting, drops one, the others kind of surround and just manage to cut down the other. So there's just one, one shield holding down this hallway. They're floating in the air. But you do hear, you can hear down the upper hallways though too. Footsteps, running, armored feet. Now, it's your go, my friend. He doesn't want to like come, come after us. You don't actually even see him over there, to be honest with you. To be honest, that was strange. Okay, um, I'm gonna start by plopping down Big Bear. Which I believe, and then, and then, yeah, so that should get everybody who's our friend. How many temporary hit points is that now? 19. Okay. 19 temporary hit points. Up to your temp by five, man. <laughs> and then. I'm okay with it. I'm gonna end the gravity by uh, summoning up. some animals, yeah. Shouldn't you, you probably, well, never mind. Well, if I'm missing something mechanically. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Goddamn right, you're not dead. <laughs> Could be your dad. 
Hope so. <laughs> so I imagine Dude. these guys all all the all, all the dead. gore and viscera comes falling down. The gore viscera. You see, there's more here because there were a few that hit, <laughs> some <they stragglers. laughs> hit all the ones down there. I mean, just from the impact, they just hit Good and job. starts <laughs> looking like melons. <laughs> cool. I whiffed. It's a fucking Gallagher show. Over there. <laughs> And I will bring out four dire wolves by casting at level five. Hey man, just promise when you <laughs> say goodbye to them, you pet them. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. dare not. Um, where do I want them? Do their hit points go up now because of your level? Yeah, they get an extra... Oh, I'll figure it out once my turn's over. Uh, extra something. Yep. I think it's like two per hit die. Um... What is the range on that? I didn't actually... Uh, 60 feet. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just pop them up. Yeah, you can easily put them there. That's awesome, man. Uh, they're, aren't they large? They are large, That's yeah. kind of annoying. Can they not be? I, I really do wish d and would have done not every base. Yeah, I wish they would have done rectangular right. shapes. Yep. Like, it would have been great if it just said, like, hey, this is a large creature that's two by one. Or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave some space between them. Let's do that. Castle Mac Wolf Pack rise again. <laughs> oh! Pack. It's a wolf pack coming at you. Ninety-eight point seven. Oh! It's a wolf. <laughs> and I'm. There. That was me hitting our. Yeah. Sound, sound effects. effects. Soundboard. <clears throat> Anything else, my dude? I think that is it. Um, Amelia just drops a fireball and he starts to back up. She moves forward. Uh, Clack and Adam basically just start rushing forward. Clack and Adam sounds like a great Uh, sitcom. (laughs) Uski kind of comes over here. Throws a bear trap on the ground. <laughs> Steps in it. <laughs> just, I mean, there's a few that still look like they might be getting up, and she's just... <laughs> uh, these ones are going to attack over here, though. Yeah, so many things on the board. Oh, they both hit. A lot going on. They're barely standing over here. <clears throat> You're too... Shield, but they're, I mean, they know what they're doing. They got an shield extra ni- 19 hit points. Shield. shield Michael, Michael Shield. <laughs> Spit all over my character. Shield Michael turns to you <laughs> and is like, hey, no point staying with us. We'll hold the hallway. And you can see just, they're starting to run. And Romer, it is your turn. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to give try to give him a little bit of a chance. I'm going to move my hex to that guy. This one? Or not this yeah, one. Yeah, that one there. Yeah. Uh, 19 to hit. Won't even make you roll it, dude. Okay. And then I'll just five foot that way. Attack that one. Hit. Gone. Love it. And I just say, good luck. And then move me 25 feet more. You. <laughs> Cut through. And you can see them go kind of shield to shield again and over. Give them a breather. Yep. And you know what? They even march a little bit further. Try to close the gap. Tight. Killian. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Killian will drop the storm sphere and <clears throat> I think uh yeah, we're going to do it. He is going to lift off the ground as I cast fly. Mm-hmm. And that just gives me a fly speed of 60, 60 I think. Yeah. So he'll fly here about 20 feet off the ground, um, sort of arriving with them. I'm going to keep flying beside him. Sick. That's it for me. Okay. I'm not going to be able to differentiate these, so... 
I'm just enemy one is engaged (laughs) over here. Enemy one is engaged with these two. I'm going to just narratively say they're doing their best to hold. Cool. You can hear climbing happening on this. Just (laughs) this one takes a step forward. Enemy two. Uski had been running out throwing these, but let me. Where are my dice? Uski takes a couple arrows. Just. Oh no! Does Uski explode? <laughs> Uski kind of goes down and looks wide. And who's closest? Probably me. Yeah. She'll be like. I'll be like, Uski, no! I'm not going to wait for her turn to do it. She'll she just, runs down the hall. She just starts going and taking it and just... She's like, Uski! And up. Uh, as this hallway mm-hmm. goes. It's a good way to go. Down. Oh, Great. Uski. Another woman I was going to hook up with dies. <laughs> <laughs> so in, Uski. Just too late. Uski. Will you pull that kind of group and let them come over to the edge here? Same with this one? Yes, with the exception that in the center there, move that orc, if you would. Kind of in front of them. Sorry, Grim. Former Grim. Oh, oh, oh. Orc formerly known as Grim. Does that work? Mm -hmm. Okay. As you see an orc step forward who looks, you can feel the power emanating. And the forces are pulling through. Elvin, it is your go. Oh. (laughs) If only. Uh, Can I... Can summoned animals hold their action? Is that a thing? I don't think so. I think they just kind of have to go. That doesn't really make sense right now. Um, 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 I can't really do anything from here. There's nothing wrong with holding some of your power for some later stuff. Yeah. I mean, comments. I will, uh, actually, so I'll use my bonus action to move him. Oh, I forgot you can move that. Yeah. That's cool. Um, and then I will hold my action for when someone gets within 60 feet of me. Okay. Right. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. I'm going to scoot you guys forward a little bit too. I didn't think about it. <clears throat> This way. Uh, to you, Killian. She will. You can't get bogged down here! You need to keep going! Oh, he'll look down and nod at her. <clears throat> uh, other than that, she used up a lot, but you see her start I mean, casting spells that aren't going to take effect right at the moment. Romer. All right, um, I'm going to cast Far Step on myself, mm-hmm. so my hex is going to drop, Okay. but Far Step is going to come up, so I can teleport 60 feet. It's a bonus action. I'll move up and attack it. You see an orc, and you recognize the symbol of Null huh. on the chest. Interesting. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Tight. Shit, I'm going to get killed by my own NPC. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. I've put my own revenge into this art. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, go ahead and attack, though. Cool. Uh, that's a 22. Hits. Reroll. Okay. That's 18. Uh, that'll also hit. 
four, so thirty-seven total. Yowza! Uh, hold on. Let me... Yeah, I'll wait for that. Right. I mean, Ajatha is swimming through the air as. Oh, uh, still... two concentration or two con saves. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I assume he's the spellcaster. He nice. is. Passed. He's made that one, I'm sure. Made Passed. Him. I know he made. I know you, <laughs> you dig in, and he's just like, very good. You make a good sacrifice to Null. Who's Null? <laughs> You'll find out shortly. Uh, okay, Robert. Yeah, and with your far step, the teleportation seemed to give you momentum, though. It's like you kind of... And when you ran... And I was just right on top of it. Yeah, almost like you had run the entire distance in that moment when you attacked. Cool. Killian. Alrighty. Well, I think Killian will continue flying 60 feet. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And I think he's also going to be going up diagonally. So I'm at at 60 feet high. Mm Mm-hmm. And so he moves 60 feet over and up, I gotcha. essentially. And then, yeah, he'll just turn and see, like, as he's flying, he'll send a firebolt down to try to help um, Romer after, of course, Anaki gives advantage. Uh, 19? No. Mm. Mm. Okay. Nasty. Afraid not. Uh, you shoot it down, and it just, with the sword, just, it, and it looks up. That's right, because he has a great sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Kind of just licks off. Sweet. That's all for me. Okay. Swarm this way, or towards they're gonna, me? They're going to swarm towards you. Awesome. You move that. I'm going to see if I can get that uh, camera focused. Better. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Actually, he's not swarming. Yeah, he's not going to swarm. So they're just going to have advantage. They'll do static damage, though. No. Missed. They all missed. You, I mean, they're, again, you're kind of taking the hits, but a lot of them also have swords and axes, so you're just... And you're kind of fighting through. I mean, the orc in front of you seems impressed, but almost in like a... uh, I've already died before. Yeah, just... (laughs) What are your damage resistances? Right now? Yeah. Uh, slashing, non-magical, and uh, fire. I okay. give myself radiant with a spell if I need to. Okay. Oh, so you have fire resistance. I have the ring of evasion, so I can auto-save. Uh, this one <laughs> is... You know you want to do it anyway. <laughs> so you are, you're 60 feet up. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This one's actually the, shooting. The, the wizard? Mm-hmm. Is shooting a spell at me? Yes. Okay, a spell. Okay. I mean, did it... Can I try to identify what the spell was? Sure, go ahead and roll it. Yeah, was it Arcana? It it, it wasn't necessarily a wizard, so Arcana, yes. It okay. is a spell caster. I gotcha. uh, rolled pretty bad on my Arcana, so I'll just decide one way or the other. Uh, given that it does boost me on damage output, I will, in fact, counterspell it. Okay. Absolutely does this. It's just a cantrip. But and what was that cantrip? Because yeah, I was Eldritch store Blast that. stored okay. in there, and, and that'll still count as your <laughs> level. So what is that? That'll be three, 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 three separate attacks. Three at separate D10. attacks three separate at, 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 at D10. D10. So you have yeah. cool. Eldritch Blast just <laughs> into the wand. Nice, Elvin. Okay, you and your wolf pack. Yeah. Oh! oh. Um, Elbin, the wolf pack. 20 foot square. Which one's a 20 foot square? Uh, it's that over there. 20, 20 foot square is just. Oh, you are, oh 20 foot square. square. Sorry. Uh, I don't think I. I don't think there's a 20 foot square. Oh, there's a 20 foot square, my dude. Okay. There's a 10 foot square. It's going to be 4 by 4. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to entangle. I guess I can get these. This, yeah, that whole crew. Whole crew. <laughs> That's 90 feet, so. Not put range. So they need to make me some dex saves. Okay. Uh, this oh, is sorry. Strength saves. Strength saves. Yep. These guys here. So three orcs, 
a fighter and a spellcaster of some kind. Uh, okay. Well, the spellcaster will be absolutely entangled. I'm just rolling as a, as a group for the rest of them. Uh, they're all entangled. Okay. Um, Skeeter? That's not no. buzzing around. <laughs> uh, I'm, it was 50 foot move. I'm pretty sure these guys can just do whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and this might be more than I thought. Mm, so this is right there. And they're going to attack uh, the, the boys around. I don't know. Go ahead. Are these all pretty much the same, yeah, same yeah, guys? Yeah. Uh, if you get a hit, consider that you're killing one of them. Okay. If it hits, they die. Okay. Then I'll just roll. Uh, so I guess... So I'll roll two, two at a time. Because I have advantage. Nice technique. So, a crit, two crits. Two crits. Wow. Uh, consider that they, with that double damage, that those are the two gray ones, all three of those are gone. Cool. Remember, they all had advantage. Right. So that was that was just two attacks. Just two attacks. Off one wolf, you mean, or two Off attacks? Two wolves. Two wolves. Two wolves. With right. The advantage. So those other wolves can move up. Okay. Over gotcha. there. Okay. Yeah, because technically one would one move would attack. go. Yeah. Right. Move okay. attack. So I'll just put them there. I don't think they can get to him. No, so. I don't think they would have to move to get up there. So we'll just assume. No. Yes. Yes. They both hit. They all right. I'll tell you what happened since they both hit. Uh, one goes down, that one with the two heads there, I know it's still a one head. <laughs> I will say is, um, has kind of engaged and distracted the orc in front of you. Like, I mean, it's, it's posturing, it's definitely not going to kill him, but he's having to kind of split focus. Cool. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, and then... You still have an action. Oh, no, you cast Entangle. I'm sorry. Yeah. Never mind. With that, I'm going to move us ahead narratively, because cool. we're not going to kill you. What about this dude? Do we, do we take him down? If you want to stay and take him down, that's fine. Mm. Or we can just keep moving. Or you can just keep moving. If you want to stick around, we can keep. We can go all through that. <laughs> yeah, we'd probably, we'd probably keep moving and maybe let the wolves tear him to pieces if possible. Uh, Amelia is kind of pushing yeah. you on. Clack and Adam are also there. She's like, no. I would like to get just two more attacks on them, because okay. I can still teleport. All right. And I'm doing that for a very specific reason. Got it. Amelia is like, we'll hold the hallways. She's like, the three of you need to leave. Because I'll still be able to move 90 feet, even after attack. Cool. But go ahead and do your attacks. Otherwise, I mean, we'll still narratively move it. Uh, that's a miss, but the other one would have hit. So give me another con save. Okay. Fail. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Refill. <laughs> <Yeah, I'll just laughs> you get one last kind of in as a Jothic. Oh, kind of breaks through the armor. Goes up to attack, but... I mean, Clack kind of just jumps over you and starts engaging. Adam swinging it around, and all of you pour into the kind of facility that okay. you have to get into. We're going to take another break. All right. Sweet. Whew. Ooh-wee. Good shit. Hey, y'all. We're back with another right. installment of Maclore 1997. Um, I forget. <laughs> it's Maclore 1997. the title. Uh, and today we're going to talk about today. Like, you're watching this multiple days. This is a disaster. But we're going to keep rolling because that's yeah. how we do. Uh, we're going to talk about our Princes of the Apocalypse campaign. And if you're watching this on YouTube or catching up, Princes of the Apocalypse rolls into Castle Mac versus Elemental Evil because yeah. my man killed us all. Party wipe. It was great. They, they killed themselves. themselves. Yeah, we, we kind of did. I mean, if you watch it, there were some, <laughs> there were some points that you were like, no, no we could have saved it. Uh, why don't you give us a setup? For okay, Princes so of the Princes of the Apocalypse, the kind of the newly published remake of Temple of Elemental mm-hmm. Evil, uh, it started out, again, we had maybe, uh, it takes place after our original campaign, Horde of the Dragon Queen, about a year, year and a half uh, right. difference. Actually, no, I think it was about two years at this point. Uh, year and a half yeah, to two. Yeah, it was about a year and a half. Year and a half to two. So, the Sword Coast is fairly devastated, right. um, but adventurers were needed. 
and so we had the lovely characters. I'll start with this, and then Stephen can say the other one. So, his character of Broderick Reinwald, an old non-commissioned officer who was a bard, but had no vicious mockery or anything like that. Uh, that was far past his prime and looking for a good time to die. Had lived his life with his family and needed a bit to lead the uh, the other two a bit. Yeah, yeah, he was a fun character. And then, of course, Andrew played uh, Heinrich, uh, who was a cleric slash potentially avatar of Tempest, which was a lot of fun to explore. He that. was the son of Tempest. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, Lydia came in and played Adara, who was a fire genasi. Uh, didn't get to explore a lot of her story because we all died. Yeah. Uh, and then our, our friend Jeff played for a little while there at the beginning as, um, oh gosh, I get Nos. the two of them. Yeah, Nas, because Nal was Andrew's in the yeah. um, and, and he was like an assassin wizard, uh, had been trained to be this assassin and had kind of broken away from it. Um, so anyway, so, so that campaign, like Sean said, was a, a year and a half after... Uh, the rise of Tiamat, and I think in our kind of head, it was a lot of the scattered cultists that was the, looking for a cause. The question, like arcane knowledge, they were part right. of a cult that clearly got destroyed, and I think the uh, the prophets of elemental evil, what, were, coffee grindage. Yeah. You guys got the coffee grindage. Uh, were That's you know canon. recruiting, uh, but the big thing they saved a small town called Red Larch. Yeah. They went into the ruins of Tyar Basile, which was this dwarven city, and then something beneath that, the Fane of the Eye. Mm -hmm. The characters fought a number of dungeons throughout there. They uh, they were able to get one of the uh, elemental weapons, the yep. legendary, and they ended up calling Nithvis' help when Adara didn't want to give it up, kind of Lord of the Rings style. Yeah, Windvane, right? Is that the one? That was the one, yeah. So, Nithvis suddenly became aware of the full situation. And when they did not make it out of one of the dungeons at all, uh, that's when the kind of original high-level heroes right. decided to step in. Right. So we kind of use that just as an opportunity to revisit our OG characters, those those same characters we've been talking about, Ennis, Lithbis, Kothai. Really, those three kind of came back, along with young Wayland, who had Right up there. Who had just returned from from uh, Barovia? We're gonna keep rolling. You, yeah, you guys get this raw. This is it. Monday night castle. raw. <laughs> 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 um, and so, <laughs> so so the four of them uh, descended into the Fane, having you know Nithbis realizing how important it was, and they got there and. You know, I'll just say, knowing that Waterdeep was right around the corner, we had like three sessions, I think, until Waterdeep was in our hands. I knew I wanted to wrap it up relatively quickly to at least kind of finish off the story. I'll let you run that to the end there. So, Steven <laughs> had a genius idea. <laughs> so, one, to save time, and two, the OGs are those characters going through each of those dungeons. Those dungeons are very elaborate, so anybody who wants to do a, a, you know, a lot of complex dungeons, that's the one for you. There's some really cool ideas in there. They're so, dope. Yeah, and we didn't spoil much of it. Yep, we, we missed a lot of it. So as the heroes descended, they come across the remaining prophets and think this ritual's about to start. To the prophet's surprise, something goes wrong. And instead... Tiamat manages to tear through and interrupt their ritual to come back, this time far stronger than last time. Mm -hmm. The heroes take a beating, they give as much as they get to Tiamat, realizing that it is... They're not gonna win. ...is dire. Maybe. I think they had it still, but anyway, I had it. No. Y'all were good. Uh, Waylon decides to call on the help of a legendary wizard who appears, is frightened, and manages to use a high-level disintegration spell to push back Tiamat again. So the elemental cults essentially were, were dealt with and undone, frankly, more by Tiamat. Right. <laughs> uh, and Tiamat was pushed back again. But as of now, the original heroes are kind of scattered. Nithvis is spending all of her resources trying to figure out how to stop Tiamat. Right, very focused on that, kind of almost singularly. Ennis is still uh, helping, I mean, still being the matron of the church and, you know, lending any support she can to those who've been wounded. Wayland, through the Mac 
Torches is setting up a castle now. Yeah. Kothai is wandering as he always does and making sure that the Sky Reach is completed. Yeah. The rebuilt Sky Reach. I think that kind of wraps up the, the Mac lore in, uh, in the, the briefest terms that we can give it. So, a quick high level timeline, right? Yep. Tyranny of Dragons in, in Mac lore was three years ago, from where we're at right now. We're recording this video as of we just recorded Waterdeep Dragon Heist Episode 7. That's the current state of the art, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the current timeline. So, minus three years is the start of the Tyranny of Dragons campaign. And that lasted about six months of game time, mm -hmm. given all the travel and the caravan time. Yep. About six months, maybe a little shorter, but we'll call it six months. Uh, after that, about a year and a half passed until Princes of the Apocalypse, and Strahd took place sort of in a little window. There was one little crossover, yep. I think, in, in Princes of the Apocalypse. Or no, in Strahd, you guys saw the tree and got a glimpse of the heroes from Princes of the Apocalypse because it was yes. looking into different realms. That's right. Strahd's worth watching if, if you guys want. I, I think it was pretty awesome. Yeah. They're all worth watching if you got time. Um, so, so and, and then Princes lasted maybe two months in game time, mm -hmm. something like that. And then we kind of jumped ahead to uh, more or less where we're at right now with Waterdeep Dragon High. So about three years after that war, uh, which uh, again kind of devastated the Sword Coast in our world. You know, as we kind of were thinking about it, it's not really spoken so much in the book, but the, the Metallic Dragons say we want half of that horde, and that horde represented a massive amount of like, theft. The entire fortune of the right. Sword Coast. Right. So. Yeah, so, so we decided, you know, hey, it you know, would be hard to recover from. So they're they're getting there now, but that that's informed a lot of the uh, a lot of the situation on the Sword Coast, and has left a little bit of a power vacuum for someone willing to unite people. Correct. Charismatic leader. Mm hmm With the powers of the dark gods of a dark pantheon that's been long forgotten. Yep. So stay tuned for that. Mm hmm I think that's it. We got anything else we want to add? Anything else that's worth worth noting? Yeah, we'll do another video. If we yeah, can, cool. I think we need to add more. All right, this was fun. I hope this uh, was helpful. Hope this provided some context for you guys. It's been fun to kind of revisit it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Thanks, y'all. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mac Lore 1997. <laughs> Actual special effects yeah, to be we're added get that later in post. Yeah. Neon. If you see that so, and it's not in there, just yeah. remind us that we yeah, we'll do get, it. Yeah, we will get to it. <laughs> uh, so we're going to talk about open threads. Open uh, threads. A couple things that are probably good to keep an eye on throughout uh, the games and mentions of them. We think that we can let you guys in. First and foremost, as most of you have probably guessed if you've been watching, the Shards of Amber. Mm -hmm. uh, what are those? Where are they from? Well... They were from another realm in the Shadow Plane uh, that managed to have a new champion in Kaecilius, which we just should mention in the same yeah. breath. Yeah, same breath. That is 100% the aftermath of Strahd. We like to keep it going, right? So, yeah. the end of Strahd, there's a little stinger scene, right, that shows Kaecilius on the Sword Coast with some amber where and, and you know this is a spoiler alert for Strahd so close your ears if you are playing Strahd or don't know this already but there's a temple there that have these amber sarcophagi where these elder evil gods are essentially they're like these shards of the, the remnants of these gods are kept so we kind of figured hey wouldn't it be cool though if those play into because clearly if they were encased in this temple like something epic happened long ago prison break essentially happened with Kaecilius, and they are now, at least to some degree, some we've already seen in the Sword Coast, and right. guaranteed it will not just play into Sunday, but it's, it will probably play into all the stories that we have to some degree. Welcome back, everyone. All around the castle and through the corridors and the hallways, the fight continues. Explosions from behind you, and you can hear the sounds of battle. It's like, um, what is this about? What? No. But you've entered what you know is basically another chamber before you reach kind of, you have to descend. To get to where the to, to where you're, you're are. You're essentially yeah. going deeper and deeper. Right. You guys can all push in. The room is, you know, dimly lit. It has like torches. How long does fly? Of is, I just want to double check the fly is an hour. Pretty sure. Just only lasts a minute, minute and I'm guessing it's gone. Oh, yeah. 
ten minutes. Oh, so how, ten? how long has passed? Two minutes. Okay, so still got some time on flight. You Make do. Up for two minutes. You hear sounds of battle all over. You can hear the distant din of battle. You can hear things clearly going on in the air. And you see the staircase at the other end that you'll need to descend. But... Staircase over here? Mm-hmm. But as you reach it, the dome and the ceiling above you just <laughs> explodes. Cool. Rubble shatters down. And a giant red dragon <laughs> cool. settles in. Well, Ooh, you, you successfully delivered nice. on both dungeons and, and dragons tonight. I did. Boy. Dungos and dragons. Let me go ahead and uh, let me fix camera Diaz up first. It speaks to it's like, it's like the so called Drac Lord was prepared. Now I get to eat you and defile a former temple of Behemoth. <sighs> it looks old. <laughs> Let's roll some initiative. Uh, give me one of those. <clears throat> oh yeah! <laughs> Don't forget about these boys. I think it's not bad to have one of the tr- first day dragon breath. That is true. Uh, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that. Hey, I critical initiative. Oh, cool. What's that give you? Shut up. <laughs> Okay. 23. Really? Where <laughs> I got are, 23 <laughs> Where are we at, boys? Which of us has higher decks? 23. Well, uh, which one do you guys want to go high first? Mm, well, you guess, rolled a crit. You go first. Well, I don't I really like going first, but... Okay, yeah, I'll go first. I guess my will 20. 20. Okay, well... I have a flight thing you can kind of use if you want. I, it might be a little precarious, but... For the dragon? Yeah, it's just that... That that's I it. Thing. I don't know if you'll sit on that. <clears throat> if it fits, it will fit. <laughs> Dragons are basically big cats. Uh, immediately, though, as you are in here, I do need everybody to actually roll uh, wisdom save. Yeah, please. I'll just be using old advantage here. Oh God. Oh god! Um, got inspiration, don't you? Yeah, but we we tamped down on. If you okay. already rolled with advantage, okay, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as much as I wish that would have helped me, probably didn't. <laughs> Wisdom save, you say? That's what I said. Mm-hmm. Twenty-five for me. Okay, let me just double check. I don't know Actually, if a seventeen is going to be enough. Oh, wizards are proficient. I'm going to use the say. dark one's own luck and add a d10 to my roll. Okay. I have to use my arcane reflection. That brings me to an eighteen. Uh, what is it? Got a twenty-six with that. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Dark ones of luck. I mean, you've read about dragons. You've even seen an undead dragon that was scary enough. You are knowledgeable. <clears throat> you are studied. You have read a number of books about dragons. And this is a fucking red dragon. (laughs) And you just... I mean, especially the books in Thay went into great detail about what it's like to be dismembered and eaten slash burned (laughs) by a dragon. Yep, yep. Uh, All right. And you are frightened. Got it. Did you pull a bill of baggins and just go, ooh, and pass out? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, you can repeat it on the end, uh, end of each turn. End of each turn. Cool. Got it. Uh, you two are immune to the to the frightening. You had an eighteen and that failed, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm glad I used it then. <laughs> okay. Well, Elbin, <clears throat> here you are, face to face with a red dragon. Send old Sparky one, two, three, and four in. I guess I'm in there, not there, right? It probably has a bigger base than that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? I do have a base for you. 
I'm I'm kind of the ace of base, as they Thanks, say. Man. So. This guy might struggle though. Oh, Jeff's favorite man. Man. He's trying to hide. He is another dragon. He's going to mark. Yeah, uh, I, the, I will. Oh, the, yeah, the beats yeah. on Ace of Base though I, are I, bangers. Listen, I do. Like I would, Ace of I'm not. Base. I'm not even. Be, I'm not being ironic. No. Nope. That Ace no. of Base album Ace of is Base a album banger. Is awesome. In fact, yeah. I have the cassette tape in my car right now. Gift for my wife. So if anybody's got a problem with it. Might be it. In there. I can't. I can't find it. It might be on the top. I normally keep it. Like, right is it in that little dice tray up there on the table? No, to your right. This it. Yeah, that's it. These. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to be big enough. I guess not. But it's, it's three how big by is three. It? It's supposed to be four by four. Uh, it is. Let's make it three by three for now. That works. It is huge. Move the back of the mic. Pretty sure you moved the back. Yeah, you moved the back. Yeah. I yeah. also just sat on my mic. Oh, but so it's four by four. That probably sounds amazing. <laughs> Sit on it, man. <laughs> Sorry for sitting on my mic, fam. All right, so I guess they're these two are already. Yeah, sure. yeah. Most professional. <clears throat> so I'll just roll both these guys at the same time. If that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Pack tactic, good thing. <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, oh, that was a D twelve. So I'm gonna try that. Closely. I was holding it. I was doing well for a while. Okay, so it. you you critted with one. <clears throat> and uh, what is my chance to hit on these guys? Uh, I always forget. Plus, plus, six, plus five, so seventeen to the other one. Uh, that did not. But that crit definitely got it. Okay. So that'll be a whopping 46 plus 3. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh Cameron, Cameron Diaz. Cameron, Cameron Diaz, are you okay? <laughs> oh, God. More, I am so professional. Sat on to... my microphone. <laughs> broke Cameron Diaz. <laughs> so that's a 20. 20 damage? Yep. And, you know, it has to succeed on a DC 13 string saving throw or be not prone. <laughs> <laughs> they start tearing it. I mean, w- they manage to both, like, one kind of bites and starts digging away at one of the scales, and the other one, I mean, starts digging in and tearing through it. I mean, they're definitely damaging it, but it's just. Ha! Ah! <laughs> cool. Um, I'm within 60 feet, so. And then I'll just, uh,. I just hate to do anything that is a save because I'm sure he's got a million con. Only one way to find out, yeah. my dude. Yep, exactly. There's one way. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll druidcraft him, I guess. So, con save. Okay, my dude. <laughs> Should be fine, right? Yeah. What am I trying to beat? 21. Actually, I'd have failed that. I did fail. Woo! <laughs> nice. We know a four fails against a twenty-one. Four fails. <laughs> so he'll take 18, eighteen damage. Nice. And what do we say? Disadvantage on his next attack, or we're taking? We did that? say that. Okay. Yeah. So, and how much damage was it? I'm sorry. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Effective. How's he looking? <laughs> Definitely fine. Uh, but <laughs> vines, you manage to they just kind of pull out and wrap around one of its legs and start the kind of thorns and start <laughs> pulling, and it just ah. Is it the end of your turn, my dude? What, why are you asking? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I think I'll just hang for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> just relish it. <laughs> and now it's my turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay, at the end of your turn, as the vines have it and the wolves are around it, it leans down and then wings just... <laughs> Please make dexterity saving throws for all of your wolves. Um, is it flying? It is. I'll try and sort of do it as they lay. I don't know how much it's going to matter. So, that would be how they lay, I think. Um... What is their next modifier? I mean, they're screwed, right? Plus one or plus two. Plus two. Oh, yeah. They are all knocked prone. Cool. And they each take 23 damage bludgeoning. Okay. And then, if you will move it 
40 feet closer to you guys. Yep. Right there. It's gonna try and make peace with us. Yeah, it's coming to negotiate. Look, guys, <laughs> guys, we got off on the wrong. Wolf. Hold up! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? I didn't know you had wolves up in here. <laughs> uh, okay, Killian. All right. Well, being that I am frightened, I cannot move closer. I think he'll be flying like up back against the wall, uh, and Anarchy will, I think, telepathically soothingly reassure him. And Anarchy will fly up adjacent and give me the help action. Okay. On my turn, I am going to cast um, Shocking Grasp uh, through Anarchy. Right. With advantage plus disadvantage becomes a regular, regular. roll. That would be a 28. That hits. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh my god. I am going to dump one of my uh, power surges into that, so it'll be 19 damage. Okay. Holy crap, that's a lot. Yeah. Is it your level? Yeah. It, it's supposed to just be your int mod, but my wand makes it my level. Oh my god, that's so good. Which makes it, like, good. Instead of, like, alright. Alright, Anarchy lands, and you see electricity just all over, just sweet. And it's just ah! Wisdom save at the end of my turn? That's correct. I'll just be borrowing one of these boys. Mm -hmm. I went through this half. <laughs> and actually, I can't well, I move closer, we... but I'm gonna, like, scoot along this wall. <laughs> yep. In fact, I'm probably gonna just fly towards this corner and get right there. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna mom from uh, hereditary oh, yeah, fly. No. Nope. Okay, hold on. This will be a sixteen plus. I'm going to use my. I have to cast cantrip next turn, but I'll use my arcane deflection. So I got a twenty. Twenty. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Made it. Oh! oh! Whoo! Don't come over there. Steal his nerves. Nice. All right. <clears throat> okay. Well, uh, let me see. How many. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Romer. Yeah, I uh, realized I should have moved away. I'm going to move away. Okay. Just, yeah. So he'll have to pick who he's going yeah. to slaughter. Probably you. Does it do anything after I move? No, I just checked on that. It does not. Um... Alright, I'm actually going to go into him. But I'm actually going to move... Where was it? Here. I'll move to there. Uh, let me see. I will hex him. Got it. Uh, I'll hex him with... It's only ability checks. I'll do strength, just in case you want to grapple. All right. Gotcha. Just keep me reminded on that it's mm -hmm. strength, yep. but gotcha. And I will swing with a Jotha. A 28. That's a hit. Uh, 17. I don't think he's going to hit. So. You'd be right. <laughs> so we know 18 doesn't. Uh, hold 28 on. Hold does. on. Uh, I'm yeah, going somewhere. to... We're, we're zeroing in. Uh, I keep forgetting I, I've got Battlemaster also. I hope everybody watching sees the difference in faces I'm making between the fight where they reverse gravity and when I have the red <laughs> dragon now. Uh, I'm going to precision attack that. Okay. Uh, 19. 19 damage. Gotcha. No, no, to hit. Oh, that hits. Oh, okay, so they did work. All right, awesome. So the first one... So now you know. Yeah. So that's going to be uh, 16 on that one. And uh, 17 on that one. So 16 and 17? Yeah, so 33. 33. Okay. Uh, I mean, your kind of opening salvo here has done well in 
the wolf started tearing in the vines and it keeps shocking grabs you come up and find exactly find the purchase that you need and start just kind of digging around after your turn this will be an attack at disadvantage because of uh, your thing and what's your armor class again? 19. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably not too difficult. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, you take 13 bludgeoning damage as the tail whips around and <laughs> slams into you. Concentration. Yep, yeah, no problem. It is its go. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> it's just gonna rotate. <laughs> I need both of you to please make dexterity saving throws. Okay, that's my best one. Hang in there, boys. Oops. I fail. One. But, my ring. Ooh, do I want to do that, though? Hold on, let me see if that's... Let me check that. You lost something. Can I help you? Oh, no, I got it. Oh, okay. I'm trying to decide now. I guess I'm going to Mariner's Coin re-roll it. Oh, cool. It's nothing. Okay, yes. I'm going to use a charge for my Ring of Evasion to make my save. Got it. 16. Definitely not. Yep. I might need some help here, boys. On dice. <laughs> uh, no thanks. I'm going to need D6s, please. I got five. I got six. All right, hold on. I got two. Yeah, I got eight for you right here. Eight, ten, eight. All right, that's exactly what I need. Is that it? (laughs) Fucking nuts. There's ten. Uh, twenty-four. Okay, we're good. Round them up. Should be, should be fine. Thirty. I think you're good. Don't worry. Forty. Okay, so that's 67 damage for you. I'm going to take a quarter. I have fire resistance. That's right. From the armor, and then I take half. That's pretty sweet. Well, hell yeah. you got to do a save on your... Yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, So, so I'm sorry, what was the total damage? It was 67 total. So, the breath... And I don't mean it is melting metal behind you. Even though you're in the corner, you can feel the heat lick nice. all around. Con save. Okay. Uh. Or when I get, take a bunch of damage, how does that work? Is it? It's half the damage plus ten. No, it's it's half the damage or, or ten. You're right, half the greater. damage or ten. So your save is you took the full. 67? Yeah. So your save is 33. Like you can't make this. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. So the wolves are gone. Uh, I'm good. I took uh, 17 damage. Nasty. It recharges immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I do the Night King thing to him, and I just smile at him. Just if he ever smiled in any of this, it's know, gonna episodes. eat you. It's gonna <laughs> yeah. fucking get eaten. <laughs> How's he looking? Uh, I mean, I you can still see that he's definitely taken damage. I mean, he's he's also so big. Yeah, it'd it, be probably hard for us to tell. I mean, you can see it some a, a bit like the wing. One of the wings is a little bit lower. One of the legs seems like it doesn't quite want to stand as much, but it is still very much fine. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to break out the big guns. But we have a big fight in less than a week, don't we? Bigger. Uh. We don't know if we're going to get long rests. So I assume, need a real long ass- rest. Assume, Probably safe to assume no long rest. I was going to say, I would assume that you're not going to get a long rest, so keep that in mind. It won't even matter. It's once a week. 
Right. What? Oh, his thingy that he has. Okay. So, regardless, you definitely ain't gonna get a week. Irregardlessly. Okay. What is your once a week thing? He's I don't not know. telling us. No. Oh. Keep it secret. Keep it's it part secret. of your class. No, no, it's part of his item. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Some some private Sean some secret bullshit. Sean gave him. Cool. <laughs> All of you got secret bullshit. Mine is very good. You're, you're all <laughs> special in my book. I don't love any of you more than the others, except that I do love Andrew more. <laughs> <laughs> but if you'd met me, you would too. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's huge, right? Huge. Yeah. Huge. Huge. He's huge. He's huge, Ian. It's the second dragon we fought, right? Eugene. The other was the zombie right. dragon, vampire Eugene dragon. Levy. That one was, oh my god, the breath weapon on that thing? The oh, that was terrifying. Blood and grave dirt was one of my, <laughs> my better Dude, that creations. Was, I loved that. That was really yeah. cool. Whose turn is it? Fine. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Just, just, just taking a sweet time. <laughs> sweet, sweet, Andrew. The sweetest of time. Ah! Uh, man, I might just do it. Do it, man. I'm going to do it. Fuck yeah. Okay. You want to explain to them what happens? Sure. Splinters start coming out of my feet, roots dig into the ground, and you know. Uh... Tree it? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> really? Nice. I know you got the figure. That's the awesome. <laughs> he grows, and I mean, is a living tree. Very cool. Just <laughs> with branches kind of cracking. That's awesome. And there you are, my dude. You have. Transformed. I'll Is even, that an action to do that? I'll even give you an action. Thing. I'll give you an action for it. The transformation cost you a reaction. I'm gonna at least that. hide how much you love him. <laughs> <laughs> I won't show him the letters he wrote me. <laughs> Don't show anybody that. <laughs> I just want to smell them. Uh, all right, I'm gonna come up here and so I guess I can make two slam attacks. Nice. Awesome. Very cool. Do I recognize him as a, an ally? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still smoking almost. Some of it, some of the nice. branches are even like kind of singed. <clears throat> so, first attack 23. Yes. That is 3d6 plus 6. Uh, 15. 15. And second slam. Yeah. Yep. 29. Ooh. Or. Uh, 16? Wait, no. Sorry. 19. I've added 3 instead of 9. Got it. That's all I've got. I assume that gives you just a ass ton of hit points. Yeah, it gives me a couple. Yeah. 138. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, just 138. So just two <clears throat> large, I mean, tree trunks on their own just hit into the Nice. Almost feline like chest <clears throat> of the dragon, just and it's just ah, and then one, another one kind of comes down on the hunch. I think Romer just looks over and his mouth literally his jaw drops. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so awesome. Killian, it is your go. All your right. best friend is a tree. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've been holding on to this one for a while. No, no I'm not. I am going to <laughs> I'm gonna float down to the ground. Raise my hand uh, with a little bit of a smirk, and then as he turns his hand, a blue hand appears, mirroring his image. Oh my oh, god, oh, yes! Oh, Cast oh, Big B's, B's hand, hand! Given to you by Big B by himself. Big B himself. That's awesome. Big and B. I will, I will, You've been waiting for that, I haven't you? I've been yet. waiting for Big B's hand. I'm going to drop <laughs> Big B's hand right there, <laughs> and it is going to try to grab onto him and grapple him. Okay. Guess I'm what he has to disadvantage on. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, let's see. We will be making opposed... Uh, let's see, I use my strength score. I'd just like to use one of these if that's okay with you guys. I'd really well, like your to strength score is like grapple. spell stuff. Right? Uh, it's just a flat plus eight on my strength, strength checks. Oh. So he's already rolling with disadvantage, but he probably has a crazy strength. I'm going right. for it. Yeah. I'm spinning one of these. I got an 18. It will choose. It's not a saving throw. Oh, it's, it's ability not. check. Oh, it is an ability check. Never mind. Uh, I then hit hot over that. 14, yeah, it I failed. got an 18. All right, Big B's hand just 
clenches him and pulls him to the ground so it can't get away. Thank you. The uh, wings start, they're trying to kind of like get the beats, but they just can't find purchase. Cool. All right, that is uh, a full action. Um, Anarchy is going to give Romer advantage on his next attack. Nice. Okay. After your turn. No, it can't move. The tail whips around at you, Romer. And it gets you. I'll allow it. <laughs> so kind. Put my dice back. I can't find them. <clears throat> Jesus. Uh, it's another 13. 13? Okay. Yep. And, Romer, it is your turn. All right. Well, I'll swing at him with advantage. Uh, that is a 21? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to roll for the old one. Uh, I'm going to spend that. And a 21. Perf. First one. Roll this. So that is... He's want the total, right? Yes. Roll this. Uh, 41 damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's trying to make... You take the hit, but you're now expecting it. So you you do still take some of the damage, but you manage to roll over the tail on the other side and just bring a Jatha down. And I mean, as the tail swung, you just kind of cut it up in fiery... Almost looks like oil is just pouring out with its blood. I mean, you can smell it's most sulfurous, and it's just hitting the ground. It's on your armor. It's even heating up your armor just to have warm, that hot of blood. Anything else, my dude? No, I was just making sure I added that right. Yeah, that was right. All right. After your turn, we'll make another tail attack on you. And it gets you. There we Oof. go. That was a big roll. That's 24 damage. Okay. Cool, cool, Excuse cool. me, that's 26 damage. I'm sorry. Is it, uh, what'd you say, 24? 26. What'd you say the first time? 24. Okay. Now who's on first? <laughs> Dragon. So, it hurts, but and part of it is when it swings back around, that blood kind of splashes past your armor and into your face, so part of it just feels like it's burning. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's its turn. That's good. That's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is wonderful now. Its speed is zero, so it will have to choose. What about a hand just <laughs> <laughs> trying to fight it? The hand just grabbing a wing and pulling it down. Or just ground. holding the tail. Yeah, yeah, that's what it did. It's grasped around its tail, holding Bad it Bad boy, no down. <laughs> I do think it can turn its head and get you, though, yeah, Killian. I think that's fair. So yeah, doesn't it, it can't, doesn't say it can't move position. Yeah, like, direction. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, just yeah, can't it, move. Totally do that. Plus, I just imagine it's got its that head long is... head. <sighs> yep, it's not dumb. It looks over to you and just. <laughs> so can I borrow those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many did you need again? Eight, eight please. Can you assist me in your death, please? I would like to use my reaction to do my cloak of absorb elements. I'll choose fire. <laughs> Does it give you resistance? Yeah. And I'm gonna definitely be rolling. Them. Just gonna let I let one person make you a fucking cloak, and I decide <laughs> to make it fucking magical. My knitting now skills all on dragons are ruined. <laughs> <laughs> That's what beats dragons, y'all. The bonds of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> one thing we didn't expect was love. <laughs> oh, that was not. I see it. Put your ones there. Doesn't look too bad so far. You need some help. Yeah, dude, there is yeah. another. So that's 20. 30. That's 40. That's 50. Okay. That's pretty damn nasty. DC's high, too. Yeah. That's almost certainly going to fail. I'm Just guessing it's like a 20. Well, I don't know. I got a... I think I got a 20. I'm pretty sure that's a 20. I think my dex is plus 2. 
What am I doing? Yep, plus two. Twenty. You failed. Oh my god, no! Oh, that's right. I guess the breath opens higher. God. So you take twenty-five. Okay. Uh, I can't beat my save to keep Big B's hand around, I Why? don't think. It's half the damage. You're taking 25. Yeah. Oh, that's not the damage you took. Yeah, it's 12. Right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some reason I was thinking it was the damage you took. No, yeah. no. So it's, I'm trying to beat a 12 I'm, to keep Big B's around, mm. and I do. Wow, he rolled right off a of 1, so didn't I took, it? I took 25. Yeah. Oh, our temporary hit points are not gone, right? They last until the next rest. Yeah. Yep. Long rest, rest, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... You're down... 7... So six. So you pull the cloak up, and you can feel basically those leaves doing exactly what leaves do, and they're changing the oxygen before it reaches you. Sweet. So they're just kind of just absorbing off and regrowing underneath as you. I mean, it's still licking through. Most of it is purely just because everything around you is so hot. Right. Thanks, Elvin. No. Nope. Yeah, thanks, Elvin. Yeah, I make clothes <laughs> for the people I love. <laughs> so, Sean. Okay. Well, that's that. Elvin, it is your go. Oh. Big old tree in. <laughs> big old dumb tree. <laughs> big old tree boy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Would you leave me? <laughs> I'd leave me. Was she a big old tall tree? Uh, Plus ten to hit. Attacking twice. Yep. Twenty-four. Mm -hmm. And what was it again? I don't remember. Three d six plus six. Fifteen. Okay. Look at those math skills. What are you, a human calculator? Good job. Not human. Uh, how's that? Thirteen, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> he takes. Uh, I mean, the first one you. You kind of slam down, and it brings almost its, I mean, the kind of joint in its leg down, so it comes down. The next one, it manages to just kind of bite and push off your other arm. It's looking a little feral now and just kind of primal. And with that, after your turn, it's going to tail whip Jeff. Oh, you're your old head. Okay. Wow. Been rolling some damage on those tail whips. You have been. Whip. Tail whip. That's 22. To the tail whip. Watch me whip. So it just <laughs> kind of hits you again. Kill him. All right. The first thing I will do as a, well, Anarchy's going to give me advantage. On my turn. Okay. Give him the help action. The uh, Big B's hand is a bonus action. Free damage. It's just squeezing and crunching scales between its fingers. <laughs> and it's going to be... Uh, that's going to be 16 points of damage from Big B's hand. After which, I will burn Anarchy's reaction to cast another Shocking Grasp from her talents as she continues flying around it. <laughs> what you got? It <laughs> me. What you got? Easy said, Oh Lord, tree come. <laughs> <laughs> a fine boy, a chonga chongus, Oh Lord, tree boy coming. Uh, yeah, that'll be a 29, my dude. I will pour my last uh, supercharged power surge into this. It is a huge dragon, in fact. Um, they're doing. Pretty damn good, like every dragon I've That's thrown. That'll be 24 <laughs> lightning damage. Were there more dragons? That boy. On that just, 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 brief, I just the remember. vampire one, I guess. <laughs> that, that one rocked our world, though. Just the vampire one. No, y'all... He rocked my world. world. <laughs> he, was, he rocked your he, world. He, he did rock your me. world. <laughs> Alright, that's it for me. Okay. Uh, God, Big B's hand is awesome. Man. It will make a tail attack on you. Romer. Uh, uh I can't let me see. I've ever actually. maligned Big B ever. It can all. It can do a ton of things too, like push a creature uh, really like pretty far. Right. Actually, wait. What is your armor class? Thirty 19? feet. Yeah, it's just like yeah. You're good. Yeah. So you you're ready. You you roll under it. Okay, I, mean, I repost it. Roll and <laughs> repost on a boat. Uh, twenty five. Yep. I need OC. And then I add an extra D8 to it. 
Uh, so that's 24 damage. Y'all can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and now I, I attack it. Mm-hmm. First attack, 24. Second attack. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, so I just hit once. And we're fighting a big old Drangus. <laughs> <laughs> Reroll. So, 17 more. Rover. <laughs> <laughs> As you roll under and you repose, your sword comes down and it just sinks through like butter on the tail, and the tail just kind of rolls away. You go under and you take out another leg and you just continue until each of its appendages are just in it. And the hand slams it down, holds it, and just for good measure, you... Nice. Romer, I put my sword in it. Dragon Slayer! (laughs) (laughs) With that, we will end for tonight, but don't miss next week. It will be the finale, the culmination of many threads... I can't come wait. together yeah. into a beautiful sweater. Maybe they stop the amber gods. Maybe, Maybe they, they free Bahamut. Yeah. Maybe they fight Kaecilius. Maybe they beat him. Maybe they die. Well, let's be realistic. Probably gonna win. Yeah. All right. Thanks, I'm, man. I'm definitely fun. upping the difficulty. <laughs> Thank y'all. Good job. Smart thinking. Well done. We'll see you next week, everyone. Mm. Um.